this snow is slowly absorbing the life right out of me. Am I going to die? My whole body feels like it's on fire. I never imagined dying would be this painful. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> it takes way more than this to kill somebody. Besides, I know you're not ready to die yet, are you? So, hang in there. As I was fading away, I heard an angel's voice. It was the very first time my wife ever spoke to me. Say you fall in love, get married, and end up having kids. I have one piece of advice. He's energetic, all right. Listen to that. What do you think we should name our son? Something great and big like the universe itself. How about <laughs> NASA with the kanji for starry sky? Please give your kid a normal name. Then came kindergarten. Let's see. Your name is... Yuzaki... <laughs> Naza, huh? Oh. Whenever an adult saw what my name was, they'd always giggle a bit. Hey! Hey! Are you gonna be our astronaut, Naza, huh? Huh? Um, no, I don't know why. What? Well, then why is your name Naza, you weirdo? That's lame! Of course, I didn't know NASA was also the acronym for the American National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Everyone knows But it was pretty NASA. obvious that people were making fun of me, and I really hated that. So... I strove to become someone people would respect, so that anyone who heard my name, no matter where in the world they were from, would marvel at me and say, Wow, he's even better than NASA! Once I get motivated, I have a fire inside that pushes me to my absolute limits. Because of that, by the time I reached my third year of middle school... What? Pennsylvania <laughs> University's high school? But you know that school only wants students with scores in the top 30%. Right. But still, I really think I can get in! I was born for this! Well, considering all your grades, you could probably get an A rating from most of the big public schools. But have you considered a backup school? There's always a risk of wasting money, not to mention time. Ma'am? Huh? I don't need a backup school. What? Because I will get my top choice! People will know NASA Yuzuki! And I'll reach the speed of light long before NASA does. Good grades, but clearly no good sense. But think about it! On the off chance you fail, you'll end up losing a whole year! Well, there is no off chance. Remember that speed of light you know thing what? I said? Oh, never mind! All right, entrance exams are still pending. Take some time and discuss with your parents what you're going to do. No need. They're not the ones who will be living my life. This is my decision to make. Be that as it may, you never know what fate has in store for you. If you're not careful, you could lose everything. <laughs> no matter what fate wants to throw at me, I know I can handle it no problem! And I genuinely believe that. After remaking myself through sheer force of will, I was sure I could deal with whatever destiny tossed my way. But then... Yeah, first place again! At this rate, I've got that entrance exam nailed! I let my guard down, and stumbled right into fate's plan for me. I couldn't find the words. She was just really cute! Where does she go to school? Is she my age? Wait, or maybe she's even a bit younger. Who cares? It doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure talking to this girl right now is exactly why... Uh, hey! I was born. <laughs> Would you maybe... I let my guard down, and it cost me everything. This is definitely not how I saw myself dying. I never even got to hear what her name is. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I can't die like this. If I do, what was the point of being born in the first place? You'll be okay. It takes way more than this to kill somebody. It... it's her. What? What? Why is she bleeding? Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But you need to hurry and get him to a hospital right away. Whoa! It's clear the kid is in bad shape, but I think you took the brunt of the hit when you dove in front of him like a lunatic! 
You really shouldn't try to talk. You might not be dying, but you're banged up. No need to thank me. Just get better and forget you ever saw me. I watched her heading toward the moon as she walked away. She almost looked like Princess Kaguya. My consciousness left me, and so did you. The tale of the bamboo cutter is the story of a couple who were never united. Princess Kaguya returned to the moon, and neither her adopted father nor the emperor could stop her. Right, we're over by the place at the thing? Yes, please. Send an ambulance. No, right. hang up. I'm okay. Huh? and sunshine? Wait, no! <laughs> You've lost a whole lot of blood, you know. You need to keep your temperature up. The warmth from her coat and this intensely sweet aroma she has. Yeah, I might actually pass out. And this girl is insanely cute. Maybe the cutest ever! But aren't you cold too? Of course I am. It's snowing out there. But I think I should still call someone for help. Your injuries are life-threatening. Huh? But I'm fine! Ah! What the? As you see, both of your legs are broken. The adrenaline from the trauma of the accident is about to wear off. Pretty soon, you'll find it hard to stay conscious. If you care about staying alive, just wait right there. I'll call an ambulance. So this is goodbye. Take care of yourself. My whole body's burning. My consciousness is fading. But... So what? Would you 
please go out with me? Fair enough. Yes, you and I can be together. If you'll marry me. Of course, let's do it! Though I answered her instantly, I will always be proud and thankful that I said yes. And after giving my answer, I passed right out. <laughs> when I woke up much later, the cherry blossoms were starting to fall. They told me that if she hadn't come along when she did, it's more than likely I would have died on the spot. Despite everything, she was gone before I could even learn her name. Would you please go out with me? Based on her disappearance, should I consider myself rejected? Yes, you and I can be together. If you'll marry me. With the benefit of hindsight, maybe that was her gentle way of turning me down. My days in recovery were filled with studying and rehab. I missed my window for the exams and ended up losing that entire year. So I took them the year after that. I had one of the top scores, but just didn't feel like going to high school and declined every offer. I put my dazzling academic talents to use working a service job in hopes of meeting her again, but that day never came. I knew my parents would get anxious if I worked too much and never slept, so I rented a small apartment where I lived alone. Then, I turned 18. Well, in the meantime at least, I was able to work hard and save up some money. But all the money in the world means nothing. More than anything, I just want to see her again. Yes, how can I help? <laughs> hey, we meet again. Right, I forgot to mention this before. But better late than never, my name is Tsukasa. Okay then, is it alright if I come in? We have big things to talk about. <laughs> we pick up from where the tail of the bamboo cutter left off. After getting Princess Kaguya back from the moon, we'll live happily ever after. Hello, husband. The story of a married couple. I will admit, I have many questions, even though I've been thinking of her constantly. Um, pardon me. The reality of it is, we're still practically complete strangers. And yet, once she was actually inside my home, all I could think about was... Oh, crap! I just realized I've never had a girl over here before! Sorry, it's not much. Oh, that's okay, and thank you. Oh, man. This girl is adorable. Even more than I remembered. The whole place smells better just from her sitting here. Better late than never, my name is Tsukasa. The most beautiful name in the world! I have more questions, but first... Oh, she's so cute! Uh, I think it's well- <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry! So, what did you want to discuss? Talk to me! What am I looking at? It's our marriage license. What?! What do you mean, marriage license?! Uh, are you seriously shocked about this? Uh, I mean... We had an agreement, didn't we? I said I'd be with you if you married me, and you said yes right away. Screamed it even. Okay, yes, true, technically, but... <laughs> never mind, just forget it. Well, hang on a sec. I'm freaking out, yeah, but I never said I wouldn't do it. I still love you, and I want to be together forever. None of that has changed. So if a marriage registration is what it takes, or doing anything else for that matter, I'll sign it! just shouted that I loved her in the heat of the moment. Not cool. So this is what these things look like. Whoa, oh yeah, this is the real deal. Hey, uh, what's this about witnesses? Oh, it's just a formality. All weddings require them. That said, all we really need is their seal. So if push comes to shove, you can get a random stranger to vouch. That works! And there's also the matter of your seal, your family registration, and ID. You have all that? Uh, I think so. 
Still, is this really okay? I'm going with the flow and filling it out, but maybe it isn't such a good idea. If you think about it, it actually seems like a scam. Who cares? Scams are mostly harmless. It might go horribly wrong, but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Because I'm NASA Yusuke, the man who will hit the speed of light before the other NASA. Here, all done. Oh, right. Thank you. I was wondering how you write Yusaki. Yusaki. Tsukasa Yusaki. I gotta say, that sure has a nice ring to it. Yes, I like my new name. I'll take it. Uh, th thanks. <laughs> I know we both have concerns, and we're bound to have our troubles. But I'm a pretty good judge of character, and I haven't said anything untrue. And above all, I'm putting my faith in you. I'm by no means perfect, but I hope you'll take care of me. I definitely have some concerns, but for today... Yes, of course! Don't you worry! I honestly don't care. Well then, we'd better get going. Wait, but where? And in the middle of the night? Where do you think we're going? The ward office. Since we already filled out all the paperwork, we need to turn it in. Yeah, but is it even going to be open this late? They have an after-hours desk. Besides, marriage registrations are accepted 24 hours a day. I had no idea. During the day, everyone's busy at work, and there are some people like celebrities who might want to get married without drawing a lot of attention to themselves. That makes sense. Marriage. Getting married. Is turning a piece of Yusaki. paper really all anyone Tsukasa needs to do Yusaki. something so huge? Tsukasa Yusaki. Tsukasa Yusaki. Oh yeah, I believe I'm getting used to this name. It does roll off the tongue rather nicely, doesn't it? Y yeah I guess so. And here I am with my name written as Starry Sky, but being pronounced NASA. I guess it could be worse. Wait, it just dawned on me. Out of everyone I've ever met, she's the only one who's never made fun of my name. Did you know NASA <gasps> was founded by Eisenhower in 1958? To compete with the Soviet space program Roscosmos, it was made up of 18,000 specially selected experts. They took a dream that seemed impossible by human standards, and through knowledge, skill, courage, and diligence, they collectively made it a reality. Traveling into space is so much more difficult than it sounds. It does require an astronomical amount of trial and error, and after all that effort, they were able to send people to that ball of light in the sky called the moon. NASA written as Starry Sky. I think it's a fantastic name. Oh, it felt like the ache that had been lodged in my chest from the day I was born simply melted away like snow in the sun. This arrangement still doesn't feel real. But right now, I truly want to marry this girl more than anything. Ah, here about a marriage registration, are you? Sure, it'll just be a moment. Okay, let's see. Here we go. All right. Oh, it appears you're underage. In that case, we're also going to need your guardian's approval, miss. Of course. I've got it right here. Great. Then that covers all the paperwork. I'll go ahead and get it submitted right away. Excuse me. Is it really okay to do this without any of our parents present? There's no law stating they must be here, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. Besides, a marriage between young folks is a thing worth celebrating. In fact, I'm a bit jealous that you're about to marry such a beautiful bride. Well then, that wraps up the registration. Here's to a long, happy marriage. We also hand these out as wedding gifts, so take it. Enjoy. What a nice gift. I didn't know they did stuff like this. I bet it depends on the office. Wow. I'm still surprised getting married is so easy. Honestly, it feels very surreal. Here, how would you like to hold your new wife's hand? D do you mean it? I mean, we are married. Oh, right. Well then... So soft. I had no idea girls had skin like flower petals. Your touch is warm, electric, 
It's the most amazing thing I've ever felt! Is this what marriage feels like? It's completely fantastic! It's all I can grab with this hand until I die! Uh, can you loosen your grip a little? You're hurting me. Oh, sorry, sorry, crap! Also, I don't think I like the sound of all I can grab. What? Did I just say that out loud? Oh man, that sucks, I'm such an idiot! What did I even mean by that? Uh... This isn't a buffet! It's alright, we're married now, aren't we? Well, yeah. And all you can grab buffet from now on. Sounds good to me. <laughs> this is the story of a couple who had a strange first encounter and somehow reunited with an unbreakable bond between them. Oh, by the way, there's something I need to take care of right now, so would you mind taking the plant back home first? Uh, sure. On that note, I was wondering, do you have one bed or two? Uh huh? Uh, only one bed, actually. Uh-huh. Well then, I gotta go. See you later. What? Hey, wait! <gasps> two beds? Now that we're married, then that means we'll be living together in my place? Which would also mean we're gonna... Sleep together tonight? In that one bed together? We just submitted our marriage registration and it was approved. So that means I'm really, truly, legally married to her now, right? And that means... It means... It means... It means... Yeah, it means... We're going to live together in this apartment! And if we're living together, that also means... And all you can grab buffet from now on. Sounds good to me. It's all I can grab! My name is Nasa Yuzuki. My wife's name is Sukasa. One fateful night, during a brilliant full moon, a mysterious girl saved my life. This same beautiful girl ended up being the wife I would promise to spend my life with. And one day, I met her, fell madly in love, and agreed to marry her. And apparently taking what I said to heart, not long after, she came to me. This is the story of a couple who had a strange first encounter and somehow reunited with an unbreakable bond between them. I'm gonna live with someone, and I don't think I'm mentally prepared for that. Obviously, there's only one bed in this place. How are the two of us supposed to sleep in this thing? <gasps> Stop. I need to calm down and think this through. So, the bed. I chose a semi-single, so I'd have the most usable space possible in this small room. And it's only 80 centimeters across. Your average guy's shoulders run 45 centimeters, and for an average woman, about 40. It's 5 centimeters too narrow for us both. Also, comfortable circadian rhythms call for a semi-double bed that's at least 120 centimeters wide, of course. Should I grab one off Prime right now? No. I doubt even their fastest express delivery could get a semi-double bed here within an hour. <laughs> How about doing your job, Big Shot CEOs? You couldn't improve this somehow? Wait, no, it's okay. I still have time before I should panic. This situation requires calm, rational analysis. So I figure at only 80 centimeters across, it wouldn't be impossible for us to both sleep in this bed. <laughs> what if, say, she laid her head on my arm? In this position, we'd be partially overlapping, which would more than make up for the five missing centimeters. Or I could hold her the same as a body pillow while we're sleeping! Uh, no. I don't think I'm quite comfortable with that yet. Sorry, the door was unlocked, so... <laughs> yeah, right when you were acting like Sendo-kun from Slam Dunk. Please don't leave me hanging for so long next time! Well, I knocked a bunch, but you didn't answer the door. And I was worried I might disturb the neighbors if I rang the bell. Oh, well, I'm sorry then. So, what was it you needed to do? Oh, that. I just went to pick up my suitcase. Storing things in coin lockers gets a little pricey. I guess she's got all her essentials in there. 
Does that mean she doesn't have a home to go back to? And if that's the case, is she really staying here tonight? I, I need to confirm. Oh, wow, yeah, I didn't realize how late it got while we were out and about. Boy, time sure does fly. True story. Uh, care for some coffee? Thanks, but I'm alright for now. Uh, so, is anyone at your place gonna be worried about you being out so late? Hmm. Well, actually, I don't really have a place anymore, so... <laughs> then, so are you gonna stay the night here then with the me? Mm. I mean, yeah, I planned on spending every night here from now <laughs> on. B for real? Yeah, I mean, we are married. You're spilling that, by the way. <laughs> Need any help? Uh, no, I've got it. Hmm, but I know you've only got one bed. I'd hate to impose. <laughs> you uh, could never! Listen, I could sleep on the floor if need be! One bed is plenty for now, wouldn't you agree? Well, I'd still hate for you to get sick or something. Maybe I'll just spend the night at a capsule hotel. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> huh? You don't have to be so anxious. Remember, I'm your wife now, okay? It's fine. I'm not gonna go anywhere. I took major damage from that one. Uh, what's wrong? You just keep managing to surprise me. Huh? That's right. I'm already married to this amazing girl. But why exactly? Why did this vision want to marry me? When I first saw her, I already thought she was adorable. And then she saved my life, which is why I really fell hard for her. And yet, I haven't done anything for her in return. All I've done is... Yes, you and I can be together. If you'll marry me. Of course, let's do it! Agree to her conditions. Is there any reason for her to love me? I can't think of any. Hey, uh, can I ask, why did you marry me? Why did I... Hmm. That's a pretty silly question to ask me, darling. <laughs> but how is it silly? I mean, to be blunt, we barely even know each other. Well, I guess that is true. In that case, why did you marry me, then? What? Well, because I... I, uh, well, because I'm so in love with you. Yeah, I figured. What's with the look? It means you should understand. Do you think I would marry someone I didn't totally love? <laughs> For my own husband to not understand something like that? Well, that's the part where you're silly. Uh, silly is kind of... Th then if I'm so silly, when did you fall in love with me? <laughs> nope, not gonna tell ya. Aw, oh, come on, no fair. Well, I should get going now. Get a good night's sleep, okay? W wait! <laughs> Immediate anxiety hit me, like she might disappear on me again. Hey! Uh. I think you should stay. Hmm? What about the bed? I'll buy you one. I'll go to Don Key or something, and I'll buy a futon. Just please don't leave. I had this awful feeling that if I let her walk away, I'd never see her again. Memory foam. What? Yeah, memory foam. If we're doing this, I want something fancy. When my wife is determined, she does not mess around. There's a ton of variety here. Yeah. Feel free to pick out whatever you like, okay? This is my treat. Enjoy. Oh, yeah? So this bed, is it my first wedding gift from my husband? <clears throat> uh, I guess so, yeah. Well, in that case, I should take my choice seriously then. I have to say, as their futons go, there's a wider range than I expected. For example, what's the difference between a feather futon and a down one? Feathers are the big ones, the kind you would actually see on birds' wings. Hmm. But down is made of at least 50% of the softer natal feathers. Hmm. 
feathers are warm, though they still retain less heat than down does. But since their collection process is easier, they're a lot less expensive. Oh. And what about this shape-retaining stuff here? That's memory foam or low-resistance polyurethane. The one you said you wanted earlier. And this hot spring futon, what exactly does that mean? That's actually a type of futon using tourmaline mixed with cotton to increase heat retention. Wow, I think I married a genuine intellectual, didn't I? Uh-huh, my memory's like a steel trap. <laughs> it just dawned on me. Does this mean I'm on a date? Which means, circumstances permitting, I could even hold her hand? I went a little nuts last time, but maybe now it'll be okay? After all, she is my wife. It's not that weird, is it? more over there. Let's go look at them. Come on. Uh, uh, <sighs> oh, I see. It's true. I just don't think he really is heaven. <sighs> That's heavier than it looks. You did great. I appreciate it. But still, is this really what you want? There were fancier, more expensive options. That's all right. I like this one. Now then, can I take it for a test run? Yes, of course. Oh, yes, this one's gonna work just fine. We made a solid choice. So this is how it feels. An, an actual girl is lying on a futon happily in my place? If Don Key is heaven, then what do I even call this? Would this be super heaven? Hey. Huh? Why don't you lie down too, honey? a little too lethal. I was not ready. Um, uh, don't worry about me. Besides, I bought that for you. It's all yours. Sure, it's really comfortable. It's about time to go to bed, isn't it? Uh, yes, exactly! We should really turn in. It's crazy late! Oh, alright. But I was just wondering, do you not have a bathtub in this place? Uh, yeah, no. I usually visit the local bathhouse first thing in the morning. Gotcha. Actually, now that I'm looking, you don't have any of the stuff in here I'd normally need to spend the night. Such as? Oh, like an extra hairbrush, or maybe hair clips. You know, the basics. Hey, no problem. I'll go to the convenience store and pick some up. Even underwear? Oh, uh, uh, maybe not that, though. I, I don't know your preferences. True, fair enough. Why don't we go for a stroll and hit the convenience store? <laughs> Are you sure? Definitely. Besides, this hand is all I can grab. Isn't that right? <clears throat> Holding is pretty good, but getting held is so much better. <clears throat> On the other side of this thin door, my dream girl is changing into her pajamas. Marriage is glorious. This makes me rethink everything my school taught me about ethics. Who knew all it takes is a piece of paper for a man and woman to sleep side by side? Is this a good idea, though? Is this how marriage is supposed to work? Is it really? What if one thing leads to another? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> by the way, thanks for the pajamas, too. They're really comfy. Again? Are you okay? She's so pretty, my heart almost stopped. Uh, yeah, it's nothing. I, I should get ready to go to sleep, too. You can change out here if you want to. Oh, no, I couldn't. But why not? W -w 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 why can't I? Well, because it, it... It'd be embarrassing. Well, when you put it that way, I'd probably be embarrassed if you saw me nude, too, so I guess I understand where you're coming from. See? Um, told you. <laughs> Could it be that she feels as shy as I do? Do I take that to mean she truly sees me as a real man? And that she's just as nervous around me? It sure doesn't look that way. But I still don't know for sure. Does she really have any interest in me? Romantically, I mean? 
Okay, I'm changed. What the? Um, why is your hair like that? Huh? You mean tied up? With long hair, it's hard to sleep with it down. Plus, you can damage it. Are you kidding me? She's even cute with her hair up! Hey, uh, I'm gonna turn the lights off. Okay. And the way she looked then, lit only by the faint glow of moonlight, was as beautiful as any artistic masterpiece. So enchanting, I had the feeling I wouldn't be getting much sleep that night. Thanks for today. Huh? For, for what? You really stepped up for me. It must have been a lot, huh? No, not at all, I swear! And I meant what I said. And besides, I'm incredibly glad, in fact. We made our promise come true. Hmm. I see. Then, good night, my darling. And sweet dreams. <laughs> Close. Man, I almost lost it just then. I once listened to a song that goes, When you can't sleep and it's 2 a.m. and aggravation starts to knock on the door. But right now, my heart's pounding so hard I don't think I'll be sleeping at 2 in the morning, or 3, or even 4. Her breathing's changed. That must mean she's in a deeper sleep state now. She's really out. Oh, look how cute my wife is. I could lie here forever and watch her. Uh-huh. What's this? Is my wife... What's it called? Yeah, that's it. A restless sleeper? Oh, her hair came down just then. So much for having trouble sleeping like that. And she's rolled herself right out of the futon we bought, too. She's gonna get a chill, and she could catch a cold, so I should freely fix her futon now. In which case, hugging her with a blanket might not be such a great idea. Nah, it's gonna be fine. We're married. Get a grip, NASA! A small goodnight kiss couldn't hurt, could it? She's awake. I'll leave it be tonight. Uh, uh, what? Uh, now what? Oh no, she sleepwalks too? Is that the sink? Oh, duh. She was just thirsty. She was gonna bust me for trying to kiss her. What? 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 She's standing over me and I have no idea why. Maybe she's thinking about hugging me while I sleep too? Or maybe even kissing me? somehow ended up with two comforters also. Because one is mine, and you took it in your sleep. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Hang on, Mrs. Yuzuki! You can't do that! I'm sitting right next to you! Hey, um, this is a little awkward with you sitting right here, so would you mind? 
good, good point. I'll go get changed in the other room. Man, I still can't believe this whole thing wasn't a dream. This is a little awkward with you sitting right there, so would you mind? If it was darker, would that help? Also, I could tell from a little bit I saw... She had no brawn! <laughs> Darling? <coughs> I have to ask, did you just call me Mrs. Yuzaki a minute ago? I mean, when you caught that peek at me. <coughs> she saw that?! Well, tell me, did you or didn't you? Uh, I suppose I did call you that, yes. It's not unreasonable. Legally, we're bound to each other. So I guess I'd better figure out what to call you. Uh, uh yeah, okay. And after thinking it over? Uh-huh. My NASA! Well, honestly, I kinda like how it sounds. Um, yeah, alright. It's settled then. In that case, maybe I should call you... Sukasa, baby? Huh? Wait a sec! I'm not sure I'm ready to be called your sweetheart! Besides, it sounds kind of derogatory! I'm sorry, I just thought he'd be cute. Uh? Uh, fine then. If that's what you want, darling, then okay. Hang on, what happened to you using my name? Uh, well, I'll have to get used to that. It... Eventually. Yeah, you're right. Great. Then we'll take it slowly, Sukasa baby. Aww. What were we just talking about? Wait, why are you getting so bad? This no, is how our lives as newlyweds you. began. Okay, just calm down. <sighs> all right. I think I'm all set to start getting breakfast ready now. You're wearing an apron, wow! Yes, because I'm going to make breakfast. You look like you're someone's wife! Uh, yeah, I am someone's wife. I'm yours. Oh, that's right! I know whose wife you are! You're my wife! <laughs> uh, wow, you actually cook. Impressive. <laughs> right you are! When I started living on my own, I had to learn everything pretty quickly. Building blocks that make up my body are all the foods I decide to put in it! I did a scientific analysis of the nutritional needs of an adult male and drew a customized dietary plan that perfectly incorporates everything to suit my personal needs. And thus, the answer to the ultimate menu I arrived at was... A hot pot always! If you boil all the ingredients together, you'll avoid nutritional shortage. Best of all, it's super efficient! How's the taste? Exactly the same, every time! It also ensures the right amount of seasoning per meal. There's absolutely no waste. No offense, but you realize that's science, not cooking. Wait, what do you mean? Give me ten minutes, and I'll show you what cooking's really all about. <laughs> wow. <gasps> no way! A show could get you at this hour? You make all this in ten minutes. Well, okay. Bon appetit. Oh, delicious. She used all the same ingredients I have, but it's nothing like my ultimate menu. She looks pretty satisfied with herself, too. Like some cooking queen who just conquered the whole culinary world. I'm just pleased that my darling husband enjoys my cuisine. Oh. I have to admit, you are quite the chef. Well, I just got better by practicing all the time, to be honest. I can make about anything, if I have the right ingredients. Which, incidentally, also includes sushi, provided I have enough good fish. Even sushi? By the way, you mentioned there was a bathhouse nearby that opens early? It should be open by now. Actually, I didn't get to take a bath yesterday. Do you want to go together? You sure? Washing my hair is kind of a major event. It's okay. I'll wait. Okay, thank you. You're totally welcome. I'm dying to see how she looks right after a bath. I was wondering, how far away is it? Five minute walk. People average around 80 meters a minute on foot, making it 400 meters away. Uh, all right then. Do you have soap and shampoo for my hair? Of course, I have everything. Please help yourself to whatever you need. <laughs> 
thanks a lot. But I need something a little different. Huh? What's this? It's toner. It hydrates and keeps your pores tight. How about this? Face serum. For wrinkle prevention. Oh, cool. And this? Lotion. You have to moisturize your skin. Is your skin really so dry you need all that? Nope, not at all. That's why I didn't buy any night cream. <sighs> Wow, that's a ton of stuff. Girl skincare sure is complicated these days. Well, if you think about it, serum's been around since the Edo period, and the use of lotion dates back even further. Seriously? Oh, I get it. It's that biological drive to take care of their skin that makes girls smell so nice. If she looks this good now, she's probably going to blow my mind after her bath. I can hardly wait! you go to? Yep, this is it. They're certainly not shy about the names they use. Don't worry, it's a quality bathhouse. Uh, mm -hmm. Welcome back, Nasa. As usual, you're here early. Oh, what the? You've never brought a girl here before. Yeah. Good morning, Kaname. Say hello. This is my... I mean that you're actually interested in women, then? I thought for sure that you were so into your studies that your libido had just withered away into non-existence. Hey, come on! I do so have a libido! <gasps> Oh my, Nasa. Why are you yelling about your sex drive in front of the whole neighborhood? I'm in high school, for goodness sakes. Don't you realize how innocent and delicate I am? I guess you really are a big perv after all, huh? But, but you're the one who brought this stuff up! Excuse me, Nasa, but who is this? Oh, she was my junior in middle school. Hey there, I'm Kaname. I'm 15 years old. She's a pretty amazing girl. She's been helping her family for years now by managing this place with her sister. Wow. Oh, it's not a big deal at all. See, I park myself at the front desk, and that ropes in all the exhibitionist customers, which brings in the big bucks for us. Just like NASA here. Why would you try to confuse her like that? Why? You're an exhibitionist? No, I am not! Look, she's actually a great girl, but she likes to joke. Please try not to take it too seriously. You jerk, that cuts me deep, you know. Oh, don't act like I'm the queen of pervy jokes. That's really rich coming from the guy who doesn't have anything below the waist. This is literally what I'm talking about! Uh, seriously, Sukasa, you can't listen to her. But the way you two interact, is she like your girlfriend for real or what? Well, in fact, it's more like, surprise, she and I are married. Ah! You're what? <laughs> yeah, huh? Yesterday. It's pretty sudden. I think it's a little too sudden, matter of fact. I didn't know how everything went so wrong, but congratulations on your marriage, I suppose. As a wedding present, I'll comp your visit today. What? You kidding? Wow, thanks! Well, we have her the best, so unfortunately it's not much of a gift. Right this way. The blushing bride gets the best. Thank you, that's very kind. See you later, my NASA. Uh, okay, bye! <laughs> um, well... I guess I should be heading in there, too. <laughs> Hold it! You said you could just waltz into our bathhouse without paying. What? You just said there was no charge today. I was talking about your wife. If you want to bathe for free, you have an obligation to explain what happened first and make it fast. I do? But why? Yes, that's right. Do you have the slightest idea what it feels like for me to find out that you're married with your wife standing right there? Uh-huh. Oh, no, wait. Does that mean you... Oh, you finally catch on now? I figured you would spend most of your life without a woman. And when you hit 30, you'd say to me, I made it. I'm finally a wizard. And then I'd respond with, That's right, you can use magic now. Good for you. I've dreamed about that moment forever. Well, that's not something you should be dreaming about. And anyway, this so-called wife of yours doesn't look a day older than me. That is true. She told me that she's 16. 16? That's all? <laughs> you stupid lollipop! You're married now, I mean. Huh? But why in the world would I need to tell Aya about it? And that's why they call you an egghead with math for brains. Maybe don't call me that. Fine, have it your way. For the moment, it's probably better to keep her in the dark about this anyhow. So, when's the actual ceremony? That? To be honest, I hadn't really thought about that at all yet. Besides, aren't wedding ceremonies just a waste of money? Seems kind of pointless. A ring? 
Huh? Do you really think I need one? I'm almost afraid to ask this, but did you propose? Huh? Wait, did I? Well, I guess technically no. Man, you're hopeless. So in spite of recently being married, it's pretty clear to me you have no idea what it actually entails. Huh? If efficiency's really your primary objective, all well, those other traditions will clearly be a waste of time. So when you put it in those terms, is it getting married in the first place pretty inefficient? <sighs> Seriously? Listen to me carefully. The fact that you chose this girl and made her your wife till death do you part means that you have a responsibility to make her happy no matter what. And that's not something that was decided by law, or something anyone else will hold you accountable for. It's something you need to dedicate yourself to fully, to show how truly committed you are and how you really feel. How I really feel? That's awfully mature of you. I mean, considering you're only 15 years old. Seriously, what does my age have to do with anything here? My point is that you married this girl prepared to make her happy, right? Of course I did. From now on, I live for her happiness! Or I'll die trying! Uh, it's true that we still uh, haven't had a ceremony, and I don't have a ring for her, and I didn't pop the question, but I'm confident that I can make her happy forever! You know why? Just spit it out! Um, sorry, darling. I forgot to bring in the stuff we just bought. Because I love her! I love my wife, Sukasa! <laughs> Uh, 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 hey, uh, maybe keep your voice down out here, okay? Yeah, I'll be more careful. Here, here you go. Oh, this is bad. I think I definitely upset her. Watching you shout that in front of other people is, well, really embarrassing for me. Uh, right! And yet, even though it's embarrassing... I still have to admit, it makes me happy. <sighs> okay. There's no doubt. Now I'm sure of it. This is a bath episode! Bath episodes, the kind that randomly show up in games and anime. Heroine takes off her clothes for basically no reason! Those situations always call for a scene change to a bathhouse or a hot spring, and in the end, a bucket gets sent flying and someone screams, Ew, pervert! In a zany fit of antics, at least I think. This is really good luck, and I might get to see my wife naked just by going about my day as though it's business as usual! about how bathhouse episodes work. That one forever ago! Keep quiet, you're scaring people. You're already tiny enough. Barking like that just makes you seem smaller. Hey, hey, what do you mean, tiny? Your height, of course, dummy. Obviously, that's what I'm referring to. <laughs> wow, no one's around. It's totally empty. Good. Ah, this feels so wonderful. It's like the whole place is just for me. Oh, yeah. It's my little corner of heaven. Or something like that. Oops, I'm not alone. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I swear I wasn't in here spying on you or anything. I'm the owner's eldest daughter. And I usually take a bath before customers come in. But I just fell asleep. Oh, that's okay. You don't need to apologize to me. Yes, but still. You took a quick look over here before you got undressed, didn't you? Well, yes. Uh, which means you're bashful. Just the thought of a customer like that being seen in a vulnerable position by someone like me. I don't know how to make it up to you except to die. 
Our father got obsessed with the mascot he created for marketing campaigns. And then ultimately, he sank all our savings into it, then ran off with the girl who voiced it. And just when it was looking like our family would be out on the street... Wait, slow down. I have too many questions, Aya. You have a couple budgetary deficiencies here. <gasps> Also, take these to the Legal Affairs Bureau and Tax Office. That should help you guys get a much-needed subsidy. Uh, okay! Thanks to NASA, our business fortunes did a 180, and we doubled our customer base. Oh, I just wanted folks to know how great you are. But still, if nobody had ended up coming to our aid in time, our so-called friends and relatives wouldn't do anything. We were really in terrible trouble, and you were the only one who stepped up to help us. For everything you've done for us. I'm grateful, my NASA. Uh, well, I... Likewise, I really appreciate you all, too. You saved us. No, I'm just returning the favor. Well, NASA, see you soon. Thanks for having us. What did you think? Nice, right? Y yeah but I'm actually more surprised by you, NASA. Not to mention, that girl Aya. She's pretty cute, huh? Uh... Yeah, totally, you're right. Aya really is a super cute person. <laughs> she was always really popular, too, even when we were in middle school. And ever since we graduated from high school, she's gotten even better looking. It's crazy. With how pretty that girl is, you totally have a hard time finding anyone who doesn't like her. Uh-oh. <laughs> there was definitely a shift in mood. <laughs> Wait, that's... With no proposal, no ceremony, and no ring? You suck! Oh no, maybe. She's disappointed about being married without any of those things? Does she hate me? Uh, sweetheart? Are... are you upset about that? Huh? About that? I'm grateful, my NASA. <laughs> no, not at all! I wasn't worried! It's so not like that! Super not upset, it's okay! She's completely upset about it. I mean, I get it. Come on. It totally makes sense. Who wouldn't respond like that given how special and cute and all? Then she thinks a wedding ceremony would be special? <laughs> well, she is a girl. Really? It isn't like that at all. It's not as though I'm jealous or anything. Honestly, I just want... I just want to be, well, cute to you. <laughs> and I also... I also want you to call me that, too. Wow, that's right. The wedding day is all about the girl getting dressed up and feeling cuter than ever before. I understand. I can't say it just yet. I need a little time to figure things out. Uh, what? What do you mean by needing a little time? I mean, I can't do it just yet. You're gonna have to be patient. Here, uh, take the apartment uh, key. I've got some things to look up, so I'll see you when I get home! NASA! Oh man, I really can't do it right now, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna reach the speed of light before NASA does! I will make the impossible possible! What the... how hard could it be to tell your own wife she looks cute? Bye, I'll see you later! Wait, NASA, hang on! Drops of life I've lost, leaving no trace behind, smothered by the white, along with my footsteps, like they were never there at all. How much longer do I have until this frigid night is finally over? How much longer will I have to wait before I have a warm home and loving arms to return to? I arrive home and open the door. But no one's waiting to welcome me back. It's things exactly like this that drive home how alone you really are. I didn't think my husband would leave me alone the first day after getting married. <sighs> my goodness. Hmm. There is something to be said for waiting for your beloved. What am I saying? No, I take that back. But what's
when is he actually coming home? He doesn't have a key, so I can't leave until he's back. It'd be one thing if I had a cell phone, but I don't even have that. I know! Why don't I flex my domestic muscles and blow him away with a beautiful, sparkling, clean apartment? <sighs> Everything's already spotless. Impressive, darling. The man who will reach the speed of light faster than NASA! Hey, now there's no way to show off for him because he already did it all. There has to be at least one spot in here that he forgot to clean. Maybe inside the closet? Or under his bed? But what if I go digging through some of these places and stumble upon something that wasn't meant to be found? He doesn't really strike me as that kind of guy, just based on his personality. Still, how can I be sure? What if there's an unpleasant surprise in there? I mean, this place is pretty tidy. I'm sure he even keeps those out-of-the-way places orderly. Yeah. That just leaves. Of course, the other thing I do so well around here, cooking! I'll make something delicious that'll totally blow his mind! Hmm. Wait, will he even be back for lunch? Oh, how about that? There he is. <laughs> Welcome home! That didn't take very... So we meet again, big sister. Chitose? Why are you... I'll tell you. I figured you must have scampered off somewhere. But to think you ended up in this tacky old flat. Come on, admit it. This place isn't fit for someone as important as... Why'd you do that? out on her too. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, not exactly. You begged her to tell you where I was, didn't you? <laughs> and then completely ignored her when she tried to stop you and waltzed over here in broad daylight. Well, I, um, uh, maybe. <laughs> I swear it was all out of concern for me. <laughs> Don't try to cling to me and confuse the issue. No, you're hurting me. That's my face. Okay, I get it. Stop. <laughs> Look, just go home, all right? And pass a message along to Tokiko. Huh? Tell her that I'm married. <laughs> married? What? You are freaking married? Seriously, what exactly do you mean by married? That I'm literally married. Anyway, I'm fine, so you don't have to worry anymore. Huh? I'll come by to visit when the time is right. Now, Chitose. Until then, we're done. Exactly related by blood. Sounds pretty complicated. Have you contacted the police? I can't do that. All it would do is end up causing more problems for her, so I won't. She's like a butterfly with glass wings. A glass butterfly soaring all night in search of the moon. She's easily hurt, delicate, and the second you take your eyes off her, she's gone. But no matter what happens, I'll always care about her. More than anyone. Oh, I see. I just wish there was something I could do to help somehow. <laughs> You're awfully nice, mister. 
listening to a middle schooler go on and on with her lame, boring story? Were you on your way to do something, or...? Well, actually, I was looking for a place to propose. <laughs> huh? Like a real propose? There's a place on a hill in oh, town that darling. we... darling. I thought I heard your voice just now. Oh, sorry. I'm back. What? Did she say darling? I just realized you'd be stuck waiting for me because you had the only house key here at home. Aren't you sweet? I love how you're always so considerate. Well, it's my pleasure. Uh, you. Oh. So you're the one! You're the one my sister married, aren't you? You can't have her! I won't ever let you take her away from me! She's mine! Uh, sorry, what? This is bad. Yeah, she's gonna want to fight you. Uh, wait a minute, do you actually know this girl, Sukasa? Yeah, she's from the family I used to live with. <laughs> live with? And that's who I am gonna... Well, hello there. My name is Nasa Yuzuki. Huh? Nasa, written as Starry Sky. Nice to meet you. Um, oh yeah. And you too. Wait, no, not nice to meet you at all! As a matter of fact, I'm hey, like you to... didn't tell me your name yet. What is it? It doesn't matter what my name is! Well, it is kind of awkward if I don't know what to call you. <laughs> oh, I guess so. So, what is it? it it's Chitose. <laughs> Chitose Kaginochi. Little Chitose. Uh, That's a lovely name. Show some respect, will ya? You mentioned being in middle school, so that must make you around 14. Uh, it's silly we're still out here. How about you come inside? But you just listen to me already! Impressive. It's amazing how he's calming Chitose with just his words. Well, since it's uh, lunchtime, do you want to get something to eat? I would not! I haven't accepted you as my sister's husband yet, so just back off, okay? Oh, of course. You're totally justified in that. Huh? It's true, Sukasa and I haven't known each other that long, so this would be hard to accept. It happened so fast, and we're both still pretty young, too, which is exactly why we should huh? discuss it. We could go somewhere else to calmly go over all that's happened. I think all we're really lacking here is some civilized conversation. I think this guy might be kind of incredible. <laughs> Darling, about Chitose. She's a really tough sell, so you're gonna have to work harder to convince her. It'll be okay. I'm sure she'll be understanding, cuz you're my wife, and I'm your husband. Husband and wife? <laughs> Take your civilized <laughs> talk and shove it! You should just go ahead and die! That would be enough. Then it would all be fixed! Huh? You got your wish, now we're taking this elsewhere. Excuse me! Hey, stop! That escalated quickly. Pardon, but isn't this just a little extreme? You two may have been close, but she still might call the cops on you! I wouldn't get my hopes up. I've known her a long time, and she'd never do that. However, I'll be holding on to your phone in case you get any ideas. How'd you get that? You must be quite the magician, since you managed to trick my sister. Why would she ever marry someone like you? You do have a point there. <laughs> Could it really be that I'm actually a hottie? Would you please just die? Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm going to fix this horrible blunder. Don't get me wrong, I'm still classy, so I won't stoop to something as vulgar as torture. I can wreck your marriage easily and still remain, what was the word you used? Civilized, yeah. Sorry, but what are you getting at? <laughs> Tabloid journalism! That can be pretty effective! I just have to prove you were a rotten cheater. And my sister will finally come to her senses and realize she made a terrible mistake! And right then, you'll be single again! <gasps> now that we covered all that, Charlotte, Aurora, come on in! Hi, welcome home, Miss Chitose. We're glad you're back. Yes, Miss Chitose. Welcome home. And who is this? Oh, he's adorable! Is he a guest of yours? I have a special mission for you two. Are you ready to take it on? Huh? I need tabloid pictures of this man. Uh huh? Uh, what do you mean by tabloid pics? <sighs> oh! Okay, I get it. 
I know what to do. Take some of those pictures with him, right? Not a problem. Just give me a minute, okay? <laughs> Charlotte, don't you think you're being a little hasty to agree to something so intimate? Even if the little miss did ask you, you have the right to say no. Uh, well, he really is a cutie, though. <laughs> Charlotte, no, slow down. I didn't say you needed to go that far. Put your clothes back on and let this say. And don't you understand the concept of thinking for yourself? Stop and think for a minute. All I'm asking is that you help me take some pictures that prove how worthless my sister's husband here is. And get her to lose interest in him. Is that so freaking hard? All we need is for her to stop liking him. You get it? Oh, yes, I get it now. Uh, but you should know. Your guest has run away. Uh, huh? Why didn't you say something sooner? While you were giving such a thorough explanation, I sort of got wrapped up in it. Whatever, we're past that. Just go find him and do it now. Hey. Right. Holy wow. My wife has an eccentric circle of friends. But if she actually used to live here, does that mean her old room is somewhere in this huge place? Where are you, sir? Uh. is on our planet. Since we can all see it every day, we fail to understand just how rare it is. But there have only been six opportunities in recorded history to retrieve any, without only a small amount having been brought back. Play Geoclase? But the composition? There's way too much calcium, I can tell. Something that we're freely able to look at, but can never obtain. Kaguya's castle, shining in the night sky. I know. It's a moon rock. They're blocking oxidization by keeping it encased with pumped in oxygen while pumping in nitrogen. This is the real deal, or they wouldn't take such measures. The moon rocks retrieved by NASA are all American national treasures, with the exception of samples on display in museums. I think the majority of them are in storage in Houston. If this really is what I think it is, it can't be. Oh, no, 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 this is no good. <laughs> Let me explain it to you. You see, there are many, very important things in this room, and they belong to someone who's very important. So therefore, anyone who dares intrude, we annihilate and destroy evil instantly! Aren't you using the wrong sword for that, though? Well, what does that matter? Besides, it's really the sense of justice that we both share, am I right? You're completely insane! I never said that! Charlotte, stop that right now! You can't go crashing around in here! My sister's moon rock display is big! Nitrogen in there. Oxygen will corrode that rock fast. Huh? What? Okay. Huh? Tape in a screwdriver. Quickly. Huh? Right. Oh. Can Can you fix it? I know how it works, so I should be able to. Is he some kind of genius? From the way you reacted before, is this rock the real deal? Yes, as real as it gets. In fact, our great-grandmother practically begged to borrow it for my sister's benefit. Uh-huh. Wait, you mean Sukasa needed it? Why? What do you mean by why? <laughs> so you really don't know who Sukasa is, do you? Okay, I think that'll hold. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you! Amazing! Seriously? She hasn't told you anything at all about her past? Well, sort of, I guess, but I admit she's only really shared a little bit. But there are some big things I do know. Uh -huh. Her hands are soft and warm, and she's a really good cook. And she's a restless sleeper. Oh, yeah, she puts her hair in buns at night, too. Other than that, she has the cutest smile I've ever seen. Shut up! Even I know all that, okay? It's alright. If 
you can find the courage to reach out to me, then I promise you I'll grab your hand. So hang in there. From that day when you took my hand and saved my life, it was then I decided I wanted to dedicate that life to you. But now... I just want to know why you... Tell me, why do you get to be married to her when you don't even know anything about her? I'm the only one who can make her biggest wish come true! Can't you understand she needs me? I'm the one who needs to marry Sukasa! <laughs> Please calm down, Miss Chitose! He just saved Sukasa's rock from being destroyed. We owe him for that. Sorry about this, but well, here. We're truly grateful. Wait, why are you taking those pictures of me? What? Uh, I don't know. My body just moved. Maybe someone used a command seal on me. That's what you're going with! Uh, hey, I'll make it easier on you. Just a quick Photoshop composite here. You're really fabricating evidence right in front of me! There. Oh my, I had no idea I took a picture like this. Now hang on, that picture doesn't match the assets you use. And you did it really fast, fast and kind of good. You should quit being a maid and get a job in Hollywood! You know... This is quite a picture. Sukasa, no, it's not what you think. She just edited it in Photoshop. Anyone who can manipulate a picture that well and quickly should get a job in Hollywood. You're absolutely right. I was just saying the same thing. It looks like the photo oh, did the trick. No Her first the fight. Yeah. Totally <laughs> you see what I mean now? I tried to tell you. He's a terrible, awful man. It would be in your best interest to get divorced right now. What the divorce? You're so right. This calls for a very serious talk. Oh, come on! On that note, you're coming with me right now. We have some things to discuss in private. Sukasa, wait! And don't even try to butter me up. What? If I was Lumton, you'd be lit up like a power plant right now. <laughs> that worked like a charm. Hold on. I think they might have actually just escaped. What? Um, Sukasa, please don't be mad at me. I promise that picture was really only... <sighs> oh, darling. Did you really think a dumb picture like that would honestly be enough to make me hate you? <laughs> then what was all of that about? An act to help us escape. And, if I was truly angry, it'd be much worse. <laughs> oh, crap. She's already caught on. Come on, let's get out of here, NASA. And step on it! <laughs> okay. Chitose doesn't know this passage is here. But still, I don't know anything about your past. I get the feeling just from being here today. It must have been cruel and difficult. Probably more than I can imagine. But whatever it was, I'm not going anywhere, Sukasa. <laughs> this way, come on! What really matters to me is the warmth of your soft little hand, your incredibly cute smile, and the wonderful bright future I know we're gonna build together. Hey, is this a church? That's right. It's the church of Alexon Marco. An old church on a hill that nobody uses anymore. That mansion was built in the Meiji era, and the escape passage was secretly built in the event of an emergency. Wow. This place is really beautiful. So naturally I wanted to show it to you. <laughs> I see. That's the entire point of this. Hey, Sukasa. From now on, when anything good happens to me, I promise you'll always be the first one to hear about it. Mm -hmm. And if you go through anything sad or painful, I'll share in that sadness and pain. Mm -hmm. We'll share with each other and support each other. That's the kind of couple I want us to be. I swear, I won't ever make you sorry for choosing me. This sort of sounds like a proposal to me. 
because it is one. I love you. Oh, darling, look! This is big! Turn the TV on! Huh? Wait. It just dawned on me. Where's the TV? Do you have one? I don't. What? No TV? Are you kidding? N no Sorry. Even though Space Jaws NATO Maximum Mission is on later this afternoon? Uh, sorry. Jaw, oh, what now? Duh! It's a movie about flying sharks that start a space war! Oh, is it any good? Yes, it's the best! If you say so. Cause, well, I don't really watch movies a lot, so... <laughs> Wait a second! You're seriously telling me you haven't seen The Terminator? Uh, sorry. How about Star Wars? Uh, I've heard of that one. It's another space fighting movie, right? The Human Centipede? Oh, Tsukino Mito talked about that on the internet. I haven't seen it, but it sounded pretty funny. What in the world have you been doing your whole life? <laughs> Is the problem that serious? Listen up, darling. I would never get so pushy about my most passionate hobby to the point of treating certain movies like they should be included in compulsory education. Right. That being said, say a popular series I'm obsessed with finally gets a long-awaited sequel. I want to be able to share that excitement with you, the amazement at such a miraculous sudden event. Huh? You mean there was a movie like that? The thought of such a lame reaction is just depressing to me. The disparity there is too hard to deal with. I, I think I understand where you're coming from. And because you're such a sweet guy, you must appreciate how important this is. Knowing I feel this way should be motivation enough to check out some old movies for yourself. But I understand that it might sound crazy, but you can rack up tons and tons of titles. Numbered entries like two and three obviously need no mention. But when you include spin-offs and stories that take place in the same cinematic universe, sometimes the title doesn't even indicate where those entries originated from, so you've just got to watch everything. Okay. Also, to get the most thorough enjoyment out of a title, you can't afford to blow off the director's previous efforts. See, you could have someone who first made his debut with a sci-fi horror B-movie, before getting his big break with a low-budget sci-fi action flick, and then going on to make the mother of all blockbuster films. I'm saying that by taking a holistic approach to viewing a film, including the director's style, you can enjoy it to its fullest! You can't underestimate how far back the old movie trail goes! It's like stepping into a world of boundless knowledge that stretches in all directions, seemingly forever! Do you get it? Yes, I truly see how you feel. Tsukasa is normally so cool and laid back, but her love for movies is a whole other story. Pardon me. Tsukasa and the boy, are we still after them? Not a chance. Jaws NATO is airing later this afternoon. That's a fact, and my sister's gonna be glued to it. Disrupting her could get you killed. How could anyone love such a sloppy movie full of plot holes that much? That's the whole ever. point of its appeal! It. Choices are endless. Which screen is gonna read clear, LCD or OLED? Why not buy the cheaper one? And which one presents truer color, Panasonic or the Sony? Again, get the cheaper one. You don't have any preferences for the picture or sound quality or anything? Oh, darling, a great movie's great, no matter what the picture quality may be. That was actually kind of profound. Besides, you're offering to buy a much fancier TV than you'd ever need, just for my sake. And that shows me that you want to make me happy. <laughs> this was a highly productive shopping trip. So I told her, we'll share everything with each other, and always support and be there for each other. That's the kind of couple I want us to be. Like that. And... Then your wife laughed her head off because that was so gross, right? No, no she didn't! She was really moved! Quit trying to rewrite my precious moments! You're gonna ruin it! Yeah, well, pathetically late as it was, it's a good thing you finally proposed to that girl. I guess so. Although it wasn't really a proposal. I kissed her too. I had no idea that a girl's lips were as soft as rose petals. Just thinking about it has me feeling all warm and toasty. 
gross. In fact, it's like he's getting even grosser by the minute. Hey, you sure words alone are enough? <laughs> Gotta put a ring on it, duh. When you get married, you're both supposed to wear rings. What? Honestly, I don't know if she'd even want something like that. <laughs> I knew it! One of the three excuses husbands make to get out of treating their wives by you dummies! What? What top three things do you mean? Number one! Well, I did bring up the idea of going on a trip for our anniversary. I get kind of nervous at those expensive hot springs. Let's just relax at home. She's not really into that sort of thing. That's fine. The number two thing is... You know, my wife is such a good cook that whenever I bring up the idea of going out somewhere fancy... I don't do the gourmet cuisine. <laughs> I'll just cook. And then she just whips up something quick and awesome with whatever's there. And finally, number three is... When it comes to designer labels and jewelry and things... I don't need all those expensive trinkets. I'm a simple gal. She's just not interested. That's what that means. Come on. super expensive diamond ring. How much does one cost anyway? A genuine diamond ring. There is that old saying about them costing three months' salary. Sorry for the wait. No. Oh, Sukasa. Hi. <laughs> I don't believe it. I finally see you're fresh out of the bath. Uh, uh. Uh, should we start heading home now? I wanted to let you know, I do have to go into work this afternoon. Oh, you do? I took yesterday off without giving much notice, so I should really go in today. Uh, I'll be back by 9 tonight. Oh, 9 o'clock, huh? <clears throat> Darling, what's that over there? Is it a park? That, yeah, it is. I thought so. Can we maybe stop by? This park is beautiful. And no one's around, so it's absolutely quiet. Darling, no. sit down here next to me. Huh? Okay, thanks. Don't mind if I do. Wait, what now? Is she expecting me to do something? We're sitting together in a quiet park, silently looking out at a lake. So what is this? <sighs> Maybe she's depressed because I won't be back until tonight. And she wants me to comfort her. She's so cute, I can't take it. If that's what it is, my wife is just so sweet and adorable. Sort of, well, I can't help feeling that way. 
Ew, perv. No, I swear I'm not. It's just that you're so cute, Tsukasa. You gotta believe me. Stop it, dummy. Have some decorum. Maybe don't shout things like that to the world. Uh, what exactly are you looking at? I don't get it. How should I know? I'm going now. All right, then. Have a good day. Huh? What's wrong? Well, it's just... I'm not gonna come back and find that you're gone, am I? If you're worried about it, then hurry back as soon as you can. Okay, see you later. Have a safe trip. Stop thinking about it. Man, she was so cute at the park. I had to go to work and she felt lonely. That's cute enough to almost kill me. I do feel pretty bad leaving her home, that's for sure. And I always miss her when we're apart anyway. If only there was some way to ease that loneliness, even when we can't be together. <laughs> Maybe that's what the ring is for. Something to remind me of you when you're not here. Something to show you that I'm always with you. Then of course, that's exactly why couples wear wedding rings. Rings that symbolize our eternal love, given form. I was sure that a miracle would happen. That on that day, after we were separated so abruptly, I'd soon be able to meet you again. So I took a bunch of service and delivery jobs. I searched for you everywhere, among every person I came across. But during all that time, I never found you. And the lonely nights dragged on for what felt like forever. I was so sad for so long. But now... Oh, something smells good. Is she cooking fish? Hey, I'm home. Hey, welcome back. I hope you had a good day at work. Tsukasa, I never asked. Do you want me to get you an engagement ring? Huh? An engagement ring? Uh-huh. As the symbol of our true forever love. A diamond shining on your ring finger. How about it? Our partnership radiant. With the powerful bond of all eternity. It's so dreamy. My husband is suddenly acting ridiculously romantic. I'm not sure I need one, though. Well, we already got married, so that would seem a little pointless. What? But I thought we both had to wear diamond rings on our hands. You know, to represent our eternal love for each other and all that stuff. Oh, both of us? But darling, hold on just a minute. I think you're talking about wedding rings. Huh? Are wedding rings and engagement rings not the same? Yes, an engagement ring is different. The fiancé gets it. It comes with the proposal. That's the one that's supposed to cost you three months' salary. They tend to have a gorgeous diamond. So big you can practically see it from space. That's a true engagement ring. Most of the time the man gives it to the woman, so there's really only one person who wears it. They're bright and sparkly and designed to attract lots of attention. You usually only wear them at parties or other formal occasions when you want to dress up. Ah, got it. Now, what you were talking about are the wedding rings. Both parties wear one, and traditionally on their ring fingers. The styles differ between them, but you're meant to wear them all the time, so comfort and durability are key. Therefore, simpler designs are favored. Oh, yes, I see. Clearly, that means we're going to need three rings total between the engagement ring and the two wedding bands. Hold on. My getting an engagement ring would feel kind of backwards since we're way past that point. And we are already married. Anyway, we don't really need wedding rings. It'd be a waste of money at this point. What? But, 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 but why? Don't you want to wear a symbol of our everlasting love on your finger? Uh, well, it's definitely a romantic thought. But like I said before, diamonds are very expensive. It'd be a waste of money. I appreciate the thought. But, but it's, they're the symbol of our forever love. I really don't believe I'll be able to rest. Until we're both wearing the proof. Is, is it that important to you? 
He's not going to give up without a battle, I guess. But I'm pretty sure my darling is in for a big surprise. He probably has no idea what a real diamond costs, but he'll definitely find out. Okay, you win. Let's go to Omote Sando tomorrow. Uh -huh. Omote Sando? Yeah, the Honey Winston store. That's where it is. prices tend to start at 3.4 million yen. If you're interested, we have some higher grade pieces available too. Would you like me to bring them out for you? I'm fine. I mean, no! Man, what was I thinking? Even if you knock two digits off those prices, they'd still be way too pricey for me! Pardon my asking, ma'am, but why is it the diamonds in this store are so expensive? Well, you see, sir, that is because right here, at Honey Winston Jewelers, we deal exclusively in the highest quality gemstones on Earth. Certainly, a lower quality diamond would be fine for a casual accessory. But engagements and wedding rings are priceless and precious, and should boast once-in-a-lifetime diamonds. Now, what if every time you looked at yours, you couldn't help having this thought nagging at you? I'll bet there are diamonds much nicer than this one out there, right? But at Honey Winston, you'll never have to ask that question. Because no company in the world deals with higher quality diamonds, which is why they don't even try to! Oh, gotcha. She's right. It's a once-in-a-lifetime buy, and I'd hate to regret it. And they are expensive. Very expensive, but not totally impossible. Not to mention... Then I'll take... What the heck? I think you need a minute to just breathe and relax, darling. Bye, thank you. And please come again. Darling, calm down for a second. I thought seeing those prices would persuade you to back down, not charge in head first. Yeah, but still, a diamond is the most important purchase of your life, and Honey Winston's are the highest quality gems in the world. If you go and buy an engagement ring and two wedding bands, that's three. I don't know how much money you have, but don't spend it all on rings. But they're gonna symbolize our true love. He's not letting this go. <sighs> all right, it's Okachimachi. Let's go then. What's Okachimachi? <laughs> The one carat diamond I saw for 3,600,000 yen is only 298,000 here! Now sure, it's not the highest quality diamond. So I'm betting by your reaction that you already figured that out. Oh, well yeah, kinda. But check this one out! Oh, so sparkly! And only 680,000 yen! What's the deal with this town? Everything is super cheap! Simmer down there, darling, and stop to think for a second. 680,000 yen is so not cheap! <laughs> cheaper than Honey Winston. But even my untrained eye could tell the 300,000 yen one carat diamond was cloudier. But then, if you want a better one, it jumps to five or 600,000 yen. Do you understand now? They're way too much money. You should spend your money on something more practical, not some tiny little carbon rock. Even so, if you had a ring, that would make you feel less lonely, wouldn't it? Huh? Less lonely? How so? Well, see, I thought that with a ring, even if we were separated from time to time, we'd have something nice to remind us of one another. So when we were apart, we'd both feel a little better about it. Oh, I see. This whole time, he wanted it for my sake. Yen for the pair. We ended up with the cheapest pair of rings they had. Are you sure these are really the ones you want? Of course. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Whenever I look at this ring, it'll always remind me of this wonderful day. I'll remember how Honey Winston completely got you down at first. And then, how we ended up getting the cheapest diamonds in Okachimachi. Most of all, I'll remember how truly kind you are. 
how much you care about me, in fact, about us, every time I look at it. And that will give it a glow that will never fade, no matter what. I know in my heart, I won't ever forget the fact that you really love me. That'll always stay with me. <laughs> also, 32,000 yen isn't actually that cheap. You've got a point. <laughs> to steal my covers. But tonight is different. <sighs> no, that just happened. What, what do I do? Is it okay if I hug her while she's like this? But also, what if she suddenly wakes up from the contact? No! Even if a hug from me woke her up, it shouldn't matter! Tsukasa is my wife. It's natural. Oh my god. I've never held her before. I didn't know that girls were so warm and cuddly. And she smells good too. It's making my brain melt. This is dangerous. She's so warm and she smells so good and... <laughs> oh wow. These make great hand rests. My head's gonna explode. Seriously? Uh, 
A few minutes after falling asleep, my wife rolled back onto her futon and stayed there. But before she did, I admit, I might have kissed her three more times. Hmm? Did you sleep? Yeah, sort of. I didn't get a single wink of sleep after that. After last night's events, I realized... I should really get a double bed soon. Not for anything perverted, mind you. I mean, I can't have my wife sleeping on the floor all the time, can I? And if we're gonna be living together from now on, it makes no sense to have two separate sleeping spaces. Plus, you know, with the thing being the way it is, and that being all that... But that means we'd have to move. This place is a little cramped for two people. I'd want to at least have a one-bedroom apartment so that we could have a separate living room. Speaking of that, we could justify getting a bigger TV then. Yeah, and that'd mean getting a sofa, of course. And then we could have romantic movie nights together. <laughs> the best part of that is, a bigger apartment also means having a real bath too! Hey darling, do you want to join me? Sakaso, listen! How about we move into a bigger apartment? Huh? Do we really need one? <laughs> no, not really. Things are just fine the way they are here. What? Oh, wait! You know, this place is pretty tiny. Hmm. True, but the thing is, that's what helps me feel much closer to you. <laughs> I, I guess I hadn't considered that part. So either way, <laughs> the situation's pretty great. The world is full of protagonists who either want to become the Pirate King or vanquish Titans from the Earth. There's no in-between. And just like them, I have a dream I refuse to give up on. To sleep in the same bed as my wife. So are you moving or what, NASA? <laughs> well, it's not set in stone yet, but I'm thinking about it. But that place is so small, two people sleeping there is kind of pushing it. Hold on. Are you guys actually not sleeping in the same bed? Obviously. I sleep in the bed, and she sleeps on her own futon on the floor. <sighs> so it's obvious. You've never fallen asleep holding hands, then. <laughs> Seriously? That's a thing? Say, my darling, hold my hand till I fall asleep. <gasps> yes, I've got it now! All I need to do is get us on the same surface level and I'm living the dream! I actually never thought of that! Surface level? Wait a second, are you sure she even wants to move? To be honest, she said she doesn't mind the lack of space. Really? You got a good one, you know? Also, if we do move, we'd probably get a place that has its own bath. Which means that sadly I wouldn't be coming here to use your bathhouse anymore. So maybe things are fine the way they are. Well, I think that works out perfectly. But still, uh -huh. if I married a guy who had us living indefinitely in a puny studio apartment with no bath, I'd kick his butt. <laughs> and if he gave me any tiny homes aren't so bad garbage, I'd burn it down as a way to move out. Kaname's right. We can't live in that little cubby forever. But if I try to force the issue with her about getting into a bigger place... I see. I guess you're not comfortable having me so close by. Bye! That's not it! It's not that I don't want you around! It's about the different surface levels! Come back! I'll have to choose my words carefully so as to not upset her. She's clearly very sensitive. Come back! <laughs> space can give rise to unfortunate incidents. Although personally, I wouldn't use those words to describe what happened. That being said, I'd now like to enumerate the myriad advantages of us moving into a bigger apartment. Right, great. Please continue. So first of all, you previously stated you were content with our current arrangements. Well, see, 
Moving takes a lot of time, energy, and money, as I'm sure you already know. So I figured things would be fine as is. Point taken. But if we move into a larger place, consider this. We can buy a projector and watch movies with the same kind of immersion that you would get in a real theater! <gasps> uh, well, um, as mind-blowingly cool as that sounds, it hardly justifies... Furthermore, we'll put shelving on one of the walls and set out all of your favorite DVDs for display! <laughs> one other thing, a bit of information I dug up independently. If we were sleeping on the same surface level, we could hold hands after going to bed. Well, um, if we find the right property. So if we're going to get a new place together, won't we need a guarantor? A guarantor? I assumed we'd get my parents to do it, like with my place now. Oh, wait. Hmm? I just realized I never told them I got married. <laughs> It's probably going to come as a bit of a shock to hear news like that out of nowhere. More than just a bit. Any parents who weren't shocked have much bigger problems. You want me to talk to them too? No. Not just yet, anyway. Go on in. Okay, then. Oh, and good luck! It's been a while. So, I have some news and wanted to tell you real quick. Yeah, the thing is, I, uh, I got married, so... <laughs> My mom just made a sound I've never heard before. What? Look, it's okay, calm down. That girl? Remember I told you about her before. From the accident. She's the one who saved me. Right, the super cute girl. <gasps> I just wanted you to know. Yes, I know. Believe me, I get it. I'll call again later. <sighs> um, so how'd everything go? Good, good. There should be no problems. You're a terrible liar. Okay, so your parents. What exactly did you tell them about me after the accident? Uh-huh. I said the cutest girl in the universe just saved my life. Well, don't you think that description is gonna make meeting them kind of awkward for me? Not at all. Cause I told them the truth, Sukasa. <laughs> Even so, I think it's very important that we go and see them straight away. Huh? Yes, you're right. Parents for real. Are you feeling nervous about it, NASA? Mm, I hate to admit feeling this way, but I'm kind of embarrassed. Mm -hmm. It's just that you're so cute. Mm -hmm. Like, really cute. So introducing you to them might be a little awkward. Mm -hmm. Plus, to be honest, they're pretty weird. So I just know they're gonna say something stupid. Really? Mm -hmm. A text from Mom. That's unusual. Well, that's a rather ominous message, I would say. Huh? <clears throat> the jig is up now, boy. I figured out what you called about yesterday. You need a guarantor for that new place you want. You were trying to feel us out about that, and casually said you were married. Your mother has seen the truth. Now go ahead and try to deny it, if you can! There it is. Clearly you get your intellect from your parents. Uh, yeah, but see... Ah, uh, right there, see? Just like I told you. They pulled back this way. That's why I didn't want you to meet them! Well, you have to admit, she's got you there. You heard the woman. <laughs> Seriously, my parents are just... I can't even... Still, if I didn't know better, she does seem kind of upset with you. Yeah, I'd say she probably is. Well, we have one option. We need to visit them as soon as humanly possible. Uh-huh, yeah, but... You'll be fine.
Even if they're mad, they are still your parents, so... It'll be okay. By the way, where do your parents live anyway? Are they far? In Nara Prefecture. What? He's going to introduce her to his parents now? Hmm, all the way over in Nara it would seem. What, Nara? So, that means he's not originally from Tokyo. It would appear so. Hmm, well I suppose so. Depending on how you see it, this could also be considered their honeymoon. <laughs> This is actually a perfect opportunity for our honeymoon. The typical route from Tokyo to Nara involves taking the Shinkansen to Kyoto, and then the Kintetsu Railway to Nara. So we presume we'll be staying the night at their house. That means I can sightsee in those cities with my wife! <sighs> Introducing Tsukasa to my parents doesn't sound too awesome. But if I treat it as a honeymoon, then going back home won't be so bad. That settles it then. Huh? What, Tsukasa? If we're going on a trip, I need to buy something extra. Huh? I want a camera. Can we get one? Yeah, if you're going sightseeing, it only makes sense to bring one. Well, I do want to take pictures. Only not of any landmarks or local sites. Huh? But pictures of my new life. Our new life, NASA. <laughs> you said our life. You mean it? I want to take one picture a day to keep a little record of where we've been. Uh-huh. Every day, really? Yep, every day. That's the whole point, to be consistent. Don't worry, I'm going to stick to it. In some people's daily routines, they often forget this one thing. That every single day they have with the person they love is precious, and should be treated as such. So I want to make a thorough daily record of our time together. Bit by bit, it'll be a secret diary of our married life. Secret? Does the sound of that bother or upset you? Oh my, no! Of course not! It sounds great to me! <laughs> a secret just between us? That actually sounds exciting! Yes, it's a fantastic idea! And chronicling a detailed record of your daily life is something only modern technology makes viable! Well, in that case... Can I take a picture of you now, Tsukasa? What, of me? Are you ready? Uh, well? Wow, I'm not quite sure why, but something about this camera is totally thrilling! Can I take a few more pictures? Uh-uh. Stop! <sighs> Darling, can I have the camera back now, please? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's about enough for today. What? <laughs> now I'll never forget the day my husband suddenly decided to take a million pictures of me with his crazy eyes. It'll be the first picture. What? No, that's really awkward! <laughs> Pictures you never want anyone else to see will end up making the best memories. What? Wow, how cool. So this is the terminal for night buses. Hey, Sukasa, Come here for a sec. Where? Over there? Look at me! Uh. <gasps> no matter what angle I shoot her from, she looks gorgeous! I'm gonna need more than just a 64 gigabyte memory card. This is bonkers! <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't rather take the Shinkansen to Nara? I actually have enough money to get us first class tickets. It's okay. A bus is just fine. We'll go to sleep and then we'll be there. Plus, only 150 years ago, it'd take two weeks to make the trip on foot on the Tokaido. Making the entire trip overnight is like a miracle. You can't compare such totally different periods of history. Huh? 
So this is the inside of a bus. It's so clean and orderly. Hello, everyone. What time will we pull into Kyoto? Sometime around 6 o'clock a.m. tomorrow. They schedule their stops at service areas every two hours, too. And one of those stops is going to last a full 50 minutes. Oh, okay. But if you want to, you can just sleep through the stops. No big deal. Oh, I definitely want to get off. Oh, you do? I mean, a late night service area? How could you not be excited, huh? I might order some udon just for kicks, or buttered potatoes. They might even have those hamburger vending machines, who knows? D do you really think so? Folks, stand by for departure. <sighs> Almost time. Huh? I've been looking forward to meeting your parents. And I finally am. <laughs> I just hope you aren't disappointed. I don't see a way I could be. I'm sure they're lovely people. Why didn't those two dummies just take the Shinkansen? Maybe they couldn't afford that, you know? Who cares? Come on, let's get after that bus. Move it. Okay. Wait, we're following them all the way to Nara? You're quick. But Tokiko will be livid with us. I couldn't care less. She gets to meet his parents and get their approval? Not if I have anything to say about it. Well, I still haven't approved, so this marriage is in no way official. I forget, is Chitose supposed to be that girl's mommy? She's technically not even her sister. I know all I'm doing is sitting in a seat, but it's still uncomfortable and I can't sleep. Yet we're not supposed to use our smartphones or any light sources. What do I do? It's truly amazing. Even with the rock hard seats and cramped space, she's already out like a light. And man, even when she's asleep, she looks cute. I kind of wish she'd lean on me. It's the perfect time. <laughs> oh, now I really can't sleep. Everyone, there'll be a 50-minute stop over here. Mm, such a great nap. There's something really convenient about being able to travel so far while you're asleep. What's up with you? <laughs> hey, are you okay? Oh, darling, did you have some trouble sleeping on the bus? Uh, well, yeah, sort of. I take it the hardness of the seat or the incline didn't bother you too much? Not at all. The AC was on too, so it was really comfortable. <gasps> I had only a vague sense about this before. My wife is super duper tough, like badass. She can adapt to any environment she's in. She honestly was comfortable on that bus. But I guess it makes sense. When I remember what she did for me when we first met, her strength must be otherworldly. Do you think we should have taken the Shinkansen after all? <laughs> A bus is fine for me. Wait, I hope she doesn't think this is her fault. Oh no, I can't let her worry about something so dumb. <laughs> Don't worry, my back was just a little sore, that's all. Come on, let's check out the food court, I'm starving! The service area open late, does it get any better? <laughs> well, they certainly get along well. You're so sweet and kind to her! Why do you want to break up such an obviously nice, happy couple? Yeah, seriously, have you no empathy? <laughs> Just shut up! I don't care how well they get along, this is not okay! Oh, she's getting mad now. Oh yeah, she's losing it. I said shut up, got it? Now listen, you've heard of the phrase Narita divorce? There's a damn good reason it exists. Cause honeymoons are like the kids of death. And I'm going to be the one to teach you that! certainly get along well. You're so sweet and kind to her. Why do you want to break up such an obviously nice happy couple? Yeah, seriously, have you no empathy? <laughs> oh, just shut up! I don't care how well they get along, this is not okay! Oh, she's getting mad now. Oh yeah, she's losing it. I said shut up, got it? You've heard of the phrase, Narita divorce? There's a damn good reason it exists. Because honeymoons are like the kids of death. Narita divorce? When newlyweds have a bunch of annoying little problems on their honeymoon, they get divorced as soon as they're back at Narita Airport! Bullseye! Even a tiny issue can spell doom for a romance like that! And you'll conveniently arrange for that kind of issue? Hm. 
No, I won't even need to. Because it's already disintegrating on its own! What's the matter? It's gone! My wallet's gone! Huh? Oh no, it must be on the bus! I forgot it there! Sorry, I'll be back in a sec! Uh, wait, darling! Come on. <laughs> he forgot his wallet on the bus? What a useless airhead. Without a doubt, this will totally push her to the breaking point! <sighs> Thank goodness I found it. Oh, hey. Sukasa, what's wrong? You could have waited inside the rest area. Well, I could have, yes, but I'd really rather wait here with you. Thank you. Let's get going, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a pair, huh? Yes. Oh, no. That was just the beginning. The real trouble is still brewing. Get ready! Holy wow! I can see why you were excited about this. <laughs> Ramen, curry, and potatoes? I don't know where to start. What are you getting, Nasa? Ah, good question. Let's see. I guess I'll have... a Kuranoia Beef Bowl. What is the matter with you? We've come to this treasure trove of cuisine and you pick a stupid chain restaurant? You can eat that stuff anytime at home! Yeah, but it's, it's so yummy, though. It might be yummy, but there's a limit to how much you can eat. Why don't you try something new for a change? If you're lame and give up, then it's all over! Well, what are you gonna order, then? What am I... <laughs> that smile looks suspicious. You see, unlike you, I was much more observant. Huh? Did you happen to see the sign over by the entrance with the pictures? <laughs> what? He wrote Uh-huh. And it'll never steer you wrong. So in no time, I'll be eating that lime out there! <gasps> Let's get a big bowl! They're having fun! They seem to be having more fun than anyone. <laughs> Okay, one lime udon. This will tell you when your order is ready. Okay. Now listen to me, darling. This time of year, noodle places serve sudachi soba. Basically noodles with lots of sudachi citrus on top. But this lime udon only looks similar. It's a completely different type of dish otherwise. For one thing, it uses limes, of course. And they use udon, not soba. So the only thing that it has in common with its inspiration is a passing resemblance. Is that a good idea? I think it's quite a bold endeavor, and I appreciate that. I want you to have the same guts and willingness to try new things, too! Come in! It doesn't exactly look like the picture. Uh, well, I sort of expected as much. Let me go ahead and taste it now. How... how is it? Darling... Honestly, it tastes like a pile of cold udon that someone happened to drop lime wedges on! Kiru Nendasu! There's so little punch. It's shocking. It's so unbelievably predictable that I couldn't have predicted it! Are you trying to say it's not that good, then? You should try some of it, darling. <laughs> okay. Say, ah. Uh... <sighs> this stuff, it's pretty mad. Not even good enough to comment on further. Yeah, right? Although, it's still not bad. I think it might be slightly better if you eat the lime with it, though. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me to bite straight into a raw lime, darling? Well, you were talking about trying new things, so maybe you should take your own advice, you know? How's that sound? Uh-huh. What? 
and of course I'll share it with you. What do you think? Mm. Well, I hope you like it then, because I'm really getting what I want, okay? Go right ahead. Then, okay, I... Is it good? Mm -hmm. Um, not bad. And since this melon bread is a local specialty, I suppose I can forgive you. I'm glad. Well, we're heading out soon. I'd better use the bathroom first. And what about you? No, I'm fine. I'll wait here. Okay. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Sure. Seems like that trouble they were having just ended up adding some spice to their flirting. disappointed in you. But it's so delicious. Have you tried it? Oh, stop it! I wasn't talking about your melon bread! Oh! I meant this place! Big sister, what are you doing here? Eating melon bread in a service area and being gay with your husband? Like you're some average ordinary girl? That's way too much credit. Even since the first day I met you, this is who I am. Just a normal, 16-year-old girl. No, that's not true! You're so much more! Everyone! Hello there! So, tonight, we're off in a late night service area. What is that supposed to be? Well, that's... Here in Entesu! It's the morning show here in Entesu! I knew they sometimes filmed at service areas, but I'd never imagined they'd do it at this hour. I was careless. Oh no, we could end up being on the show! Hey, Sukasa. The bus is about to leave, so we should probably... Wait, aren't you the girl from... We don't have time for that, darling. If we don't hurry up, we're going to be involuntary fodder for their hidden hotspots coverage. Let's go! Hey! We should really get out of here, too. What? Why? If we end up on here in Hennessy, the mistress will find out where we are and we'll be in trouble. Why? Why'd you do it, huh? Tell me. Why'd you have to go and marry that guy, big sister? Departing. Uh, man, that was a close one. Isn't that the friend of yours I met recently? Yeah, that's Chitose. It's obvious she really doesn't approve of our marriage. It just goes to show there are more involved in a marriage than the couple. This was bound to happen. Oh, I see. It makes me wonder how your parents will feel. What? It's one thing if they aren't happy, but what if they're really against it? It's okay. I'm not worried. I'll be able to convince them. Well, thank you. Ah, they got away! Huh? Yum! The sushi's delicious! We must run on a soccer too! How dare you two enjoy the service area! Don't worry. We've got a luxury car that can catch up to that bus in no time. So for now, let's chow down! Ah! And you get the slime udon every time? Yes, I can't get enough of it. Well, it does look quite delicious. That's an idle talkie, right? Oh, wow. She's adorable. No wonder she's a celebrity. But you go focus. And working at night, she's so dedicated, you know? Huh? Wait, I know. Why don't we just ask her? Huh? For some reason, no matter what, I couldn't get those words out of my head. Why'd you have to go and marry that guy, Big Sister? The institution of marriage has existed for so long, it's hard to trace its origins. All countries have an equivalent tradition. In fact, it's likely something that's been around long before the form of marriage that we understand now. It seems pretty obvious to me. She doesn't approve of us. Even so, I'm not going anywhere. Darling, are you awake? Hello there. Wake up, darling. We finally made it. Oh, I'm so sorry! You really have nothing to apologize for. Man, that was a long trip. It was like lightning. It's about 35 minutes to Nara on the Kintetsu. So if we head to my parents tonight, that means we can spend half the day sightseeing in Kyoto. Tsukasa, is there anywhere you want to go? Where I want to go? Yeah. Oh, there is. I heard there's an awesome bakery here. A bakery, huh? Yeah, a bakery. Or a cute cafe might be fun. 
And also... Come on, Tsukasa! They have bakeries and cafes all over Tokyo! And if it's cute cafes you want, Jimbojo is simply filled with them! Manga artists and their editors are always hanging out there! Oops, what I mean is, there has to be stuff that we can only see in Kyoto, right? Only in Kyoto? Oh! Right, right! I almost forgot about it! The Museum of Manga! <laughs> I've wanted to check that place out forever. It's supposed to be real nearby, so let's see if we can find out that! We be here in Kyoto, shrines and temples to go to. Tradition is the mission, a historical view. I'm not sure the wrapping is necessary. Oh, right. You meant like old places. Did you say old places? Tsukasa, do you really not want to see any historical points of interest at all? Huh? Well, I wouldn't go quite that far. It's just that I... Oh, yeah? Then let's go and really take in Kyoto! Oh, okay! Come on, this way! Okay, if you'd like, I'd be happy to help you put it on, miss. Thanks, I can handle it on my own, actually. <gasps> Here I am. What do you think? Uh, um, you look really beautiful. Uh, um, thank you. <laughs> it's a little early in the morning for PDA, you guys! First the service area, and now Kyoto! Don't you two ever take a break? Ch Chitose? The three of you are starting to resemble a certain villain trio. It's ridiculous. Don't label me with volcano anime! I know you're on your way to meet his parents or whatever, but as far as family goes, I'm the closest thing you'll ever have. You're deluded. Which means unless I accept your marriage, lady, that is still a legitimate paperwork or not! Uh, no. That's so not how it works. I'm not worried. I'll be able to convince them. Well, why don't the two of us discuss it? Huh? But NASA... I'm sorry. I really wanted to see all the cool Kyoto sites with you today. But see, I also want everyone to be happy about our marriage. Okay. Wait, why should In I- In that case, why doesn't Tsukasa come with us to enjoy some tasty pastries? Uh, but what about trendy cafes? We've scoped huh? them out, of course. Also, we've picked up some tickets to the Museum of Manga. <gasps> uh, uh, it's okay. Go enjoy yourself. Uh, great. Thanks so much, darling. All right. We might as well check out some Kyoto sites while discussing this. Talk is cheap. Understanding is priceless. Uh -huh. Know this! A person's true nature only shines through in intimate situations. Therefore, I'll pretend to be your girlfriend and you'll have to entertain me! Can you deal with that, dummy? Uh -huh. And based uh -huh. on your performance, I'll be able to accurately judge whether or not you're worthy of Big Sister! Just you wait. I'll prove how worthless he is. And I promise you'll thank me for it. So all I have to do now is prove I'm worthy of being with Tsukasa. Then you'll accept our marriage? Of course. But I highly doubt that will happen based on what I've seen from you so far. I see. Well, once you see the quality of chivalry and companionship I provide, you'll believe in me. Oh my. Someone's rather self-assured. If I had to clarify, I'd probably say it's from love. Really? What kind of ridiculous dribble is that? Hey! Uh a rickshaw! Let's ride in it! Come on! What? Get back here, dummy! So tell us, what do you like about what? him? Mm? Who? I'm talking about your husband, silly! Well, uh, what was it about NASA that made you fall so hard? Mm? Are there butterflies? Mm? Did he make your heart go bitter better? Uh, I don't know if I... But how are we gonna accept... Her reaction is just the cutest. So spill it! Enough already! Dunno, if I had to pick, then... No, fine, I'll tell you! He's... He's just really cute, okay? <gasps> and it was love at first sight? No, no, not at all! I'm so I see, so that's her type. Well, for example, see... This one time, he introduced me to a good friend he's known forever. This is my friend Kaname. 
She's a pretty amazing girl. He'll usually start by praising them. It's so sweet. I think someone's personality colors how they say things. So you can just tell by the words they use and their attitude if they're generally a kind and positive person or negative. So when I heard him say those things, I thought, he's a genuinely nice person, for real. So what you're saying is you totally have a type and he's it? <laughs> Were you even listening to me? Yeah, uh huh? He's the man of your dreams inside and out, so you married him immediately. No, I mean, am I wrong here? Mm -hmm. Not exactly. <gasps> I knew it! Oh, travel by rickshaw is more exciting than I thought. Isn't it? <laughs> See, I researched it a ton. And it looks like one of those must-do things in Kyoto. Are you always this lit up? Huh? Oh, there's a place that sells really good dongo right up there. Here you go. Try one. I heard they're incredible. Okay, that's the best thing I've ever had. That's great. I told you. And was this another thing you looked up for the trip? Absolutely. With me, no effort is spared, whether it concerns my work, tests at school, or going on dates. I see. But still, I doubt Big Sister cared much about any of this stuff. <laughs> well, you're right about that. She was only interested in going to bakeries and the manga museum. I panicked a little. Just what I thought. Huh? When I say you don't really know anything about her, that's what I meant! <laughs> and since you don't know anything about her... What exactly are you in love with her?! <sighs> well, you see... That's tough. <laughs> so much. Where do I even start? Huh? Like how cute her smile is, or what an amazing cook she is, and there's just no limit to how charming and adorable her personality is! So life the same way! You know, like how she's always so cool, come and come like that! athletic? I had no idea. That's right. She's your wife and you didn't have any clue. <laughs> well, you jealous? Jealous that I knew this and you were in the dark? Wow, so crazy. All those ads had saying she's 42. How cute can one girl be? Don't turn my words into fuel for your sick fantasies! <laughs> I hate this. Damn it all. Why is it you of all people? Wait, hold on. If someone's personality shows through how they talk about something, then it's already pretty obvious how they feel. Because I know my sister. And I know this truly is the type of person she would love. Which is why I hate this so much. I know her so much better! Ah! I've known her for ages longer than you have, which also means that I know her far better. So why did she choose to marry you? Practically a stranger who doesn't know anything. Listen, Chitose. Two years ago, Tsukasa saved my life. What? I was careless and got hit by a truck. If she hadn't been there to shield me, I would have died on the spot. So I know I'm very lucky. Actually, she saved mine too. That's not why I feel lucky, though. Uh it's because I met her. They say it's 0.0000034%. Huh? It's called the Drake Equation, a formula to find science and what's magic. It was originally created to try to calculate the likelihood of life far beyond Earth and our universe. But someone once used a variant of it to broach the likelihood of meeting the person you're fated to be with. And the chance of it is roughly 0.0000034%. Granted, it's a number based purely on conjecture, so it's not quite scientifically sound, but it might be a bit closer to the truth than we realize. The moment I saw her, it felt like it was destiny. I don't care if it lacks logic, or if nobody understands, because it felt like I found what I was searching for since before I was born. Well, who cares about fate? All that boils down to pure base instinct! Bernard Riemann theorized that the Zeta function would predict the distribution of prime numbers. And then mathematicians around the world spent 150 years trying to prove his hypothesis. And it's still happening. Waves of gravity were first theorized by Einstein. But it wasn't until a century later that they were observed by scientists writ large. 
The greatest minds in the world may come up with a theory, but it's not real until someone proves it. Believe me, I'm humbly aware that I don't know her anywhere near as well as you do. From now on, I'll spend every day proving our love is real. You don't get married because you've proven you're in love. You get married so that you can prove it over and over. So tell me, did you manage to win Chitose over? Oh, I'm not exactly sure. She did say she'd go back to Tokyo for the moment. Oh. Oh, I see. I guess all that's left is for us to meet your parents. Yeah. to live all the way out there. Like I told you, my parents are a little weirder than most. My father's actually an archaeologist. He was a professor at the National University in Tokyo. But once I moved out of the house, well, you know. You know what? I think I want to do excavations and stuff in the heart of archaeology. Nara. That's what he said. Is Nara really the heart of archaeology? No idea. <laughs> and your mother was okay with that? Well, she's definitely got some quirks of her own. Nara, I love it! I can't wait to see some authentic deer! So she was completely on board with the move. Authentic deer? Oh my. Honestly, will I get along with them? It'll be fine. Uh, I'll make it work, don't worry. How are you going to introduce me to them then? What are you actually going to say about us? Obviously I'll tell them. Here she is, my wife, the cutest girl in the universe! <laughs> Please don't do that, I beg you. Huh? We're close to the Kasuga Grand Shrine. Wow, yeah, how'd you know that? Well, mountains don't move, so after a thousand years, there's still a great landmark. Mm -hmm. Right, 
Let's shelf that for now and meet some parents, huh? Wait a minute. Are you actually nervous? Uh, uh, well, of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? This is all new to me. Yeah, I get it. I'm worried that my parents are going to do something stupid. Huh? huh? Someone's speaking out. She sure is. Mom, stop! We can see you! <laughs> Welcome home, Massa. Thanks, Mom. Is that your wife? The one you just told me about? The one you've been searching for? The cutest girl in the universe? That's right. Oh, I see. So I wanted to introduce her properly. <laughs> no, wait! Oh, I'm not emotionally prepared for this yet! Come on in, Sukasa. Wait, wait, wait! wait. I, oh, oh. It's nice to meet you, Mother. I'm Sukasa Yusaki. I appreciate you making the time to meet us today. Thank you so much. Well, I must mean Suzuki. Wow, what are the odds? Oh, wait, no. I'm Nasa's mother, Kenoka. It's such a fine pleasure to meet you. Where's Dad? Uh, he's in the living room, but he's so nervous he hasn't budged from that spot since this morning. That sounds pretty bad. Is he actually all right? Oh, why don't you drop off your bags in your room, okay? I'll go get some tea ready and wait the living Mom, room. Mom, come back. I'm getting the feeling she's avoiding me. Nah, she's always like that. For you, and thanks for making the time to see us today. I realize it's not much, but I do hope you enjoy it. Yes, that's so lovely. I'm Nasa's father, Enishi. Come on, we bought you guys this gift. Can't you just relax a little bit and accept it? S sorry. Okay, look. You're the ones who insisted we come over. You've got to get it together, guys. Oh, please, you make it sound so easy, Nasa, but we weren't really mentally prepared for this. Don't you get it? That's right, tell him. It Seriously, feels like my right, husband you're giving me a hard right. time I want to apologize. Please. I'm sure the sudden news must have come as quite a shock. No, no. It's just that, well, we... Anyway, Nasa, I think the bath should be just about ready for you now. In fact, why don't you hop on in? Huh? Wait, what are you talking about? We're still making introductions here. Now I have to bathe? No, son. I just think you should. In fact, I order you! Come on now, Nasa. This way to the bath. Up you go. Are you two kidding me right now? Look, I want to talk to Sukasa without you around, okay? So just take the hint and get in the bath. Well, now I'm staying. Do you really expect me to let you talk to her alone? How can I take that as anything but a bad sign? Nasa. It's okay. Go ahead and have your bath. Huh? Yeah, but you, uh... Don't worry about it. I'm glad to have the chance to talk with him alone. Go on. It's fine. <sighs> well, all right. But if you don't approve, I still don't care. Stop fussing, dear. So tell me, Father. What did you want to discuss with me? <sighs> I wonder if Sukasa's gonna be okay. I just hope Dad doesn't say anything moronic. Nasa, I've got to tell you. Your parents seem lovely. What, really? Because being dragged into the bath by my mom wasn't what I'd call lovely. Well, the whole time you were in there, he told me all kinds of interesting things about you. What? But that's what I was worried about. <laughs> what kinds of things exactly? Not telling. Uh -huh. So I take it this is your bedroom, Nasa? Technically, yes. Although nothing of mine's in it. I only stayed here when I helped them move in. Well, there's not a lot in your apartment in Tokyo, either. Correct you are. In case there's an emergency, everything crucial's in a safe deposit box. I keep my data in the cloud, except my wallet, keys, and phone, which I always have on me and would definitely miss if I lost them. All I can think of are my wedding ring and pictures of you, I guess. But I always carry those with me wherever I go. So even if the apartment building burns down, I'll still be set! Personal security is a big priority for you, Nasa. Oh, what's going on, Mom? Tonight. You are staying over, aren't you? Oh, yeah. We'll spend the night and take the red-eye bus back tomorrow. Okay, so, um, I thought one futon might have sufficed, but there's another one for Sukasa in the closet, too, if that's better. Huh? Uh, sure, thanks. Oh, um, by the way, mm -hmm. <laughs> please try not to forget we're right next door! Uh, yeah, I'm aware of that. The soundproofing is fairly decent, but I wouldn't put any faith in it. Huh? Yes, don't overdo it, I beg you! What was that? No idea. She mentioned there was a futon for you in the closet, and then she... <gasps> That's it! Now it finally makes sense! I'll be sleeping in this room alone with my wife tonight! Huh? And 
without even trying to, we'll finally be on the same level just like I've always wanted. Please remember everything I've said. We are next door. That's what she was unsubtly trying to warn me about. I get where she was coming from, but now I wish she hadn't. Sleeping in the same room with a girl while my parents are right next door probably listening. That's embarrassing, but somehow also kind of exciting. My heart's pounding out of my chest right now. I mean, is this actually happening? There's got to be some kind of law against this. Is this cool for real? I'm thinking I should probably take a bath tonight, too. All uh, right, go for it. Huh? I'll go ahead and set up the futons. Uh, okay. My parents will be in the next room over, but I'm in here with a girl. Something about that seems ethically dubious. Hey, darling. <laughs> I just realized we'll be sleeping on the same level now. For the very first time. We sh sh sure will. We might as well go to bed then. My wife is sleeping next to me. She's right there within arm's reach, peacefully unaware. Oh, gross. My parents are literally on the other side of that wall. It's too weird no matter what. Sukasa? Uh. So, uh, do you all want to rest your head on my arm? Huh? You don't have to if you don't want to. I was just thinking that I'm maybe if you... Well, don't mind if I do then. <sighs> so cool. So this is what living the dream feels like. Warmth of her entire body directly through my arm. And now that this has happened, I'm also just realizing how wildly uncomfortable it is. Maybe it's a bad pressure point. Her weight's concentrated on a specific area that's making the rest of my arm go completely numb. But she's so warm and cuddly and she smells so good. It's like a marriage made in heaven and hell. Darling, is your arm getting numb? Do you want me to get up? Huh? No, of course not. Why do you ask? Oh, really? <laughs> 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 I knew it, it's asleep. Aw, oh, that was so mean. <laughs> well, you were trying to act tough. But I don't want to make you suffer anymore, so I'm going back to my own bed. Okay, you win. We'll forget about the arm thing, but only if you promise me a goodnight kiss. <gasps> I don't think I'll be able to recover from my pain with anything less than that. All I need is a goodnight kiss from you. Oh, one more thing. You have to initiate it. Okay, fine then, if you insist. Uh, why are your eyes wide open? Well, because I want to see it happen. I can't do it if you watch. It's embarrassing. But even when you're embarrassed, you're so cute. Just hear that. What are they doing? Shush, go to sleep. Oh, that's right. We just slept at my husband's parents' house. Last night. Honestly, why does he choose moments like that to get feisty? Well, I should probably get up and get dressed now. Oh no! I forgot I have to get changed in front of him. I'm completely not used to this. Let's see. Oh, well, he's still passed out, so it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, man. What do I do? Well, obviously, the gentlemanly thing would be to pretend I'm still asleep and give her some privacy. Quick peek. Uh, uh. Oh, good. He was just turning over. It's too early to be this turned on. The scents on the wind bring back such memories. Good morning. You're an early riser, aren't you? Oh, hi. Good morning, Father. How'd you sleep? <laughs> huh? What's wrong? You okay? Uh, forgive me. It's just that I got a little embarrassed hearing you call me that. <laughs> anyway, where's Nessa? He's still asleep. I don't think he got much sleep on the bus right here. I was so excited over my sleeping cuddly life, I lay wide awake for hours. I see. So, he's still sleeping, huh? Lying in bed. Uh, yeah. Crap! All I can do is make small talk with my daughter-in-law! Should I talk about the weather? 
Oh, that won't hold up for more than a minute. What do young people like to talk about anyway? I can't think of anything. NASA mentioned that you're an archaeologist, is that right? Yes, yes, <laughs> exactly. Are you at all interested in history, perhaps? In that case, I can show you my office. How about it? That's sure, I'd like love to. Talk. Lead the way. Wow. This is one impressive library you've got. Oh, thank you. It gives off a researcher vibe, right? But it seems pretty something grammable, doesn't it? <laughs> I guess NASA gets his braininess from you. You're both big readers. No, I don't even come close to his intelligence level, unfortunately. Which makes maintaining parental dignity hard. He'd probably say this room is a waste of space. And I should just scan everything and store it in the cloud instead of keeping it all. <laughs> that said, it's mostly things normal people could never get. Did you see something interesting in that book? No, not really. I was just thinking if someone read a private love letter I'd written in the middle of the night, I would probably die of embarrassment right there on the spot. Love letter? You can understand all that? Dad? What are you guys doing? Good morning. Glad you're up, NASA. Your father was just telling me more about his work. Oh, was he now? Well, sorry about that. But you aren't even interested in history. You know? What? What do you mean? Of course I am! What? But in Kyoto, you were... I do like history! Love it! Even old properties are fascinating to me! And look! The letter in this book is quite a noteworthy relic! What? I can't read that! How do you even know what it says? Okay, fine! I mean, feel how old and delicate it is! This is ready, everyone! Coming! Let's go, Sukasa. Okay. Thank you, Father, for sharing this with me. Uh, yeah. Um, honestly, Dad, your reference books are all such a waste of valuable space. You should scan them all and send it to the cloud. I call this chapter A Million Pictures in Nara with My Husband. Huh? I figured out my big mistake. Uh, what? It's true that I'm not that interested in old properties and papers, but I realized that'll never do. And then I had a flash of inspiration. Take a boring old Buddhist temple, add my darling, and what do you know? Suddenly, our little outing has become a party. You see, it's about rewriting old memories. This will make Nara much more fun to explore. I'm a genius, I am, with a treasure trove of ideas. You shouldn't have to force having a good time. But... Chitose and the others got in the way in Kyoto, so that kind of took all the fun out of our date. That was such a cute thing to say! I've got it! Let's start by seeing the great Buddha of Nara! We'll take in the city sights today! Yay! So this is Nara's great Buddha. Never seen it before. He's gigantic, huh? I'm gonna take a picture now, darling. So please, do something fun, okay? <laughs> Can you narrow that down a little? Come on, quickly! Uh, um, then, uh, here. Oh, wow, how unique! You're so imaginative, darling! That didn't sound very sincere! Yes, yes! Oh, that turned out perfectly! I'm gonna have to show it to your father later. You really don't have to do that! Yeah, he asked me to take care of you. And I want to show him how well we're getting along, too. Okay, our next stop. Horyuji, what do you say? So this is Horyuji, then. And it's really been standing now for 1,400 years? Yep. It caught on fire from a lightning strike in the year 670, but it's still here after 1,300 years. Wow, I have to say, despite your lack of interest, you really know your history. But it's more like, I just have a good memory. I'm amazed that such an elaborate building from ages ago is still intact. You're right about that. Even though the person who built it is being phased out of history books. That seems kind of harsh, doesn't it? All right, get ready now, darling. Time for you to give me another fun pose, okay? <sighs> oh, Ryuji's not really a fun pose kind of place. Sure it is! A five-story tower should remind you of saving your love by fighting foes on each floor while shouting, It's Sha! Where there's an urban legend that she attacks you if you loop around 24 times. Instead of that... Huh? How about a picture? With both of us this time. Both of us, really? Well, you know, like a selfie, but the two of us close together. You know, darling, sometimes you come off pretty pervy. No, I swear that's not what I meant by it! I'm not saying that I want you to cling to me, Sukasa. I just wanted a photo! <laughs> How 
How's this, darling? Satisfactory? Yeah, but this is a sacred place. I feel like Prince Shotoku would get mad. <laughs> <laughs> no, not for this. He'd never condemn anyone's happiness. Uh -huh. Well, where do you think we should go next? Uh, let me see. There's a place called Heijo Palace. Let's check it out. You said Heijo Palace? Just so you know, it's empty. There's nothing out there. Aw, that can't be true. It's from when Nara was Japan's capital. Don't be silly. Surely there has to be something left. What? There's really nothing left? Hate to say I told you so. When they moved the capital to Kyoto, they were low on supplies, so they took apart the buildings here and used them there. Is that true? See, the Suzaku Gate was mostly dismantled. What you see is a recreation based on what was left, built in 1998, and it's still not an exact architectural match. She acts like she doesn't care, but she's so well informed. But it was definitely here. Huh? 1,300 years ago, it was all here. Sukasa? Over 100,000 people laughed, cried, loved, and peacefully lived out their lives. Ordinary lives barely different from anyone's today. You see, the real tragedy here is that there's hardly a trace of them left anymore. Tsukasa? But it's all changed now. What? Now you just have to press a button to make a video, and once you upload it to YouTube, your stuff will be immortalized. Huh? huh I bet a thousand years from now, people will still be laughing at Mizutamari Bond's videos! You're flipping between realism and romance. My point is, you should leave something funny to be immortalized, too! Uh. Hurry, it's already recording! Yeah, okay. My name is Nasa Yuzuki. I just got married for real the other day, and the person recording this video is my brand new wife, and she's totally adorable, and I can- Darling, stop right there! W what Well, it's pretty obvious this video is- Yeah, I would have to call it a death flag. Huh? It's got that after the war is over, I'm getting married vibe, know what I mean? It's kind of depressing and ominous. Then just delete it! Not a chance! This is something your parents need to see also. So when did you and my dad become such pals? Well, I made a very important promise to him. Oh, and what was that then? Not saying. So now tell me, Father, what was it you wanted to discuss with me? Huh? Um, oh no, Father, what's wrong? Are you alright? Tsukasa, you saved my son's life. I thank you. <gasps> if you hadn't stepped in, risking your life, my dear son Nasa would have died. When the police informed me he'd been hit by a truck, my heart nearly stopped. We were terrified he wouldn't make it. But then they said he wasn't in mortal danger because someone had helped him. What you've done for us is immeasurable. My gratitude, also, is beyond measure. NASA's an infinitely better son than we deserve. I have no idea how a pair of oddballs like us managed to raise such a sweet, brilliant child. We can only describe him as our heart's greatest pride and joy. Which is why the fact that you selflessly saved his life without hesitation, and then you married him, is something that could really only bring us overwhelming happiness. That's why, before I could offer you both our congratulations, I just had to thank you. You saved him, so thank you for everything. And please, I am begging you, take care of my son. I'm so touched to hear you say that, so thank you very much. If you ask me, it's an honor to join your family. Oh no, the honor's mine, truly, I swear it. I feel the same way. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Come visit any time. Sorry we couldn't offer much hospitality. Oh no, I really enjoyed myself. I'll try to take some whatever grabbable pictures before you come by again. I'll make sure to take a ton of funny pictures of NASA for you too. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> when you get home, keep an eye on our son for us. Of course. It wasn't exactly peaceful. But it was fun, wasn't it? I think so. Besides, I got lots of funny pictures of you, too. Aww. But still, as much fun as it was, I gotta say our little place together is where I feel most at ease. I feel the same. And so, 
our first trip together came to an end. We returned to regular life in our own home, our newlywed reality in a tiny apartment. Or not, as we found out. Are you okay? Oh, Mr. Yuzaki. Hey, landlord, was anyone hurt? No. We're all fine. Nothing got damaged except the building. If you were to ask me what I love about my husband, I wouldn't even know where to start. That's good. I mean, his but own home burned to the hurt. ground, but so he's way more concerned out. about these people here. Uh, Tsukasa? Did you uh, have anything of value in there? No, everything was in my suitcase. What about your things, NASA? Uh, that's a good question. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, is it alright if I take a look around inside? Huh? Sure. Oh, there it is! I see it! The pot's a little cracked, but if we transplant it carefully, it should be okay. I'm so glad it didn't burn up. Must have been safe because it was on a windowsill. And the way he cherishes even the smallest details of our life together. Crazy. The building burned to the ground. The landlord said it was a freak accident. It got struck by lightning. I'm happy the sapling lived, but everything else is gone. Yeah, including your brand new futon, unfortunately. But hey, all's not lost. Huh? My bank book and other valuables are in the safety deposit box, and renter's insurance covers the rest. Aren't they notoriously terrible at paying out their claims, though? No problem! What? I've looked up exactly how to get your insurance payout to be ready in case something like this ever happened to us. Everything is in my safe deposit box and in the cloud. So we're completely covered. The way he can be relied on to react calmly and methodically, even in the face of sudden adversity. Ooh, I'm pretty exhausted. What do you say we head to the bathhouse? We'll figure out our next move and relax a little with a good soak. Sounds great. A sudden stroke of terrible luck that honestly could have happened to anyone. And yet, despite any number of reasons he'd have to complain, he hasn't uttered a single word of anger, blame, or regret. <laughs> NASA? I love you! <gasps> it all reminds me how totally wonderful he is. Hmm, I don't know. What are we gonna do about a new place right away? Even places build as move-in ready still take about a week before you can actually move in. I guess we can sleep at a cheap hotel until then? <gasps> a hotel? Stop! No, no, no! It's a matter of practicality, not perversity! And staying at a hotel with your wife is absolutely fine and normal! Asa, you seem awfully high-spirited for someone whose apartment just burned to the ground. about your latest pervy fantasies. I wasn't, I swear! Nothing like that even crossed my mind, not even once! What am I blind? Of course you were. The proof's right there. Don't look at me! Don't call it proof! Aw, oh. oh, that's a drag. You definitely need to figure out where you're gonna stay. Yeah. Hey, if you want, you can stay here until you get it sorted out. If you don't mind the little detached unit we have, you can use that for a while. Huh? You serious, Konami? Thanks so much! Mm -hmm. So what's going on, darling? Uh, Sukasa. Until we find somewhere to move, Konami said we're welcome to crash right here. Wow, really? Sure, think nothing of it. We wouldn't even be living here now if it wasn't for NASA. That is so generous, thank you! Come with me, I'll show you what the unit looks like. Okay. It speaks volumes about how honest and forthright he is. Just look at how sincerely he responds to people's kindness. It's so gratifying and refreshing to be with someone who's magnanimous enough to openly accept that sort of thing, rather than being reluctant or acting guilty about it. That's his true, authentic self. Here's the extra building we never use. Wow, it's actually pretty big. It's got two futons already, so you'll have no problem sleeping. That's wonderful, but if we're really going to live here, it would probably be appropriate to ask your mom and Aya. I'm sure it's fine, but I'll go check if you're really worried. Hold on a sec, neighbor, I'll be back in a jiffy, okay? Just make yourselves at home! Okay, thanks! Sukasa, 
Can you believe how lucky we got to find a place to stay so fast? Oh no, this wasn't luck. Huh? See, when you're in trouble, and people immediately reach out to offer their help, that means you're well-liked. And you, darling, are well-liked. You... you really think so? I do. It means you've lived the kind of life that inspires people to help you. If you asked me what I love about you, Sukasa, I'd have any number of answers. Such as how you always give me your undivided attention, or when you pay me compliments, which makes me so happy because I know they're sincere. <laughs> NASA! I and Mom both said that it was okay for you to stay. Thank, Thank you so you, much! Kaname. We're really I so try. grateful. It's a real relief. Now then, Nasa living here is all fine and dandy, but more importantly, how's Aya gonna handle it? She has a huge crush on him. But that Ding Dong's head is so high in the clouds, she still hasn't even realized he's married yet. Hey Aya, got a question. Yes, what is it, Kaname? What does it feel like living with the guy you're infatuated with? <laughs> What? No! What are you talking about, Kaname? I don't like NASA that way. Where'd you get that crazy idea? Oh, my poor sister. It throws me away. She still believes nobody's clued into this. Oh, Aya. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us stay here. Oh, it's nothing. Really, we're happy to have you. I mean, it must have been so rough with the fire and all. Yeah, it came as a shock. But the most important thing was nobody got hurt. Well, I'm so happy you weren't hurt either, Nasa. How can you be so unaware that the guy you like has a ring on his ring finger? I mean, wouldn't most people notice? Does being a ditz give you superpowered obliviousness? By the way, I heard you went to visit your parents all the way in Nara. Huh? Yeah. They were very anxious for me to actually introduce Sukasa to them. Introduce... to your parents? Introduce her to his parents. Introduce her to his parents? NASA and Tsukasa oh, have the same family. Wasn't she a sister? His parents have never met her. NASA and Tsukasa have the same family. Oh, she might be catching on. I know, you want to stay on good terms with them, don't you? Oh, yeah. I guess we are on pretty good terms with them. Yup, yup. You can't beat that with a stick. I love my sister, but this is slasher movie great stupid! I just spoke with Tsukasa. Oh, hey, Mom. Isn't Tsukasa the sweetest? She is, but I'd expect nothing less from a girl who married our NASA. Huh? What? Did... did you say married? Huh? Well, yes, I did, dear. Tsukasa's his wife. The two of them are married. 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 What? NASA got freaking married? But why? And when? Oh, come on. How did you not know about this, Aya? You've had a crush on NASA for ages now! <laughs> How could you say that, Mom? I don't what? Really what know. did you say? I'm so sorry. My family can be a little clueless sometimes. It's fine. My first love affair's over. Before it even began. I was ten years old when I first noticed him. There was a difficult problem in class no one could solve, and he did it like it was nothing. I'd never seen anything like it. To me, he was the smartest kid in the world. And he- Okay then! We're done with the flashbacks now! The bottom line is that Aya's had her heart broken! <laughs> but you're going to have to find some way to get over it pretty quickly, honey. How about going to a school overseas or cutting off your hair? And by the way, I'm not paying for it. That's all you. Mom! How can you be so insensitive to my agony? My heart is shattered. You think that gets fixed overnight? Oh, you want to talk shattered? Well, my husband cheated on me and then ran off with a younger woman. So your love went unreturned. Boo-hoo, baby! That's totally different! You can't compare them! Now it's going to make my sadness seem like a broken nail or something. Thanks a lot! Just kill me now. I'm sorry about this, NASA. Your family's a bunch of goons. No, I should apologize. Because I... Well, uh... I never noticed it. You don't have to look so torn up over it, NASA. Uh -huh. Expecting someone to know how you feel without saying anything to them is ridiculous. She had the chance to change her future, but she was chicken. That's really all there is to it. Am I right, Aya? <laughs> She's right. This all happened because I'm too scared to act on my feelings. Do I just let it end in tears? No, I can't. 
If I just wallow in my grief, that means my first true love was all for nothing. Come on, Aya. When you lose, that's when you must hold your head high. Hey, Nasa. Congratulations on your wedding. You found your wife. Don't let her go, okay? Thanks, I won't. Kaname, I've made a decision, huh? I'm finally going to work up the courage to be beautiful game streaming ISI in my YouTube debut! I didn't know about that. Huh? Why not? And thus, my first love came to an end. Darling, we've got a little bit of dirty laundry I'd like to take care of right away. No problem. I can bring it down to the laundromat for you. Uh, no. I'd really rather you didn't. But how come? Are you worried that we don't have enough money for it? No, no. It's nothing like that. Oh, wait. Is it maybe something about doing the laundry being the woman's job? Don't worry. That medieval thinking is not no, how I- No, that's not what it is either. Then tell me, what is it? I don't want you to see all my underwear, okay? It's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, I see. Yeah, I guess I'd feel the same way. You know? It's true. No one wants people looking at their underwear. Underwear. Even if I want to see my wife's. <clears throat> uh, well then, we could just wash our own. No good either. I know I brought it up, but that's way too much effort. Never mind, it's probably better if I just wash your laundry with all of my stuff. What? Oh, fine then. That is a decent amount. Well, we still haven't washed all the clothes we took on the trip. Hey there, Tsukasa. You got a minute? What's up? My mom says she needs your help with something, although she didn't tell me what it is. Oh, alright, sure. NASA, I'll be right back, okay? Mm, okay. wore these clothes recently. Would she get mad if I touched them? I mean, they're not underwear. Besides, even if they were, she did just leave them out in the open. <sighs> oh, you know, if she's going to the laundromat, I should probably just go and put all this stuff in some bags for her. It's really the logical idea. It'll save so much extra time. Boy, I sure am a sweet, considerate husband. Wow, I guess you're a man after all, Nasa. Konami, ah! when did you come in here? Right around the time he started that absolute clown show of a monologue. But I thought you went with Tsukasa, you know? I sensed I was missing some entertainment, so I came back. Oh, your instincts are so sharp, it's kind of scary. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm pretty relieved. It's nice to see. You've got the guts to make a move sometime. The nightfall still approaches. Can't wait to see what happens then. <laughs> Crap! No, I can't make any moves! A mesh net? Oh, definitely. Women's undergarments can be delicate. So you put them in a net bag to protect them. That's interesting. Plus, when it's in there, no one knows it's underwear. Whew. Living with a girl is like starting school all over again. Here we are. The Arisugawas run this place. Wow, cool. I didn't know they ran a place like this, too. Laundromats are a great investment. High return, low overhead. Let's load the clothes in. Okay. It's funny to see all our clothes being washed together, huh? I guess there's a first time for everything. Um, uh-huh. And you're in a tracksuit. That's kind of a different outfit for you, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, sort of. But just don't, don't look too closely. It's embarrassing. What? But why? Because... Because in the fire, I lost most of my underwear, so the ones in the laundry right now are actually all... all I have. <laughs> what? You're not wearing any underwear?! Uh, hey! Wanna keep it down, please? Then... then you have... you have nothing on under that tracksuit? Uh... yes, that's right. So just... don't look too closely. Oh man, could my wife be any cuter at this moment? I want to hug her and kiss her right now. But I know if I do, Konami will magically show up. Still, look how cute! I want to hug my braless, pantyless wife so much! Damn it, I can't! Well, 
Well, now's the time for compromise! What the hell? You took a picture of me? Well, it felt like, you know, kind of a waste. A waste of what, huh? Like, sort of, that I managed to capture an ultra-rare version of my wife. Makes sense? Excuse me? Now might be a good time to go buy some clothes for your wife, dummy. Huh? What for? What do you mean, what for? Most of her clothes went up in smoke, remember? <sighs> so the ones in the laundry right now are actually all I have. <sighs> but, but we just finished the laundry, so it should be fine for a little while, right? No, oh, stupid! <clears throat> Without buying new clothes, it's hard for girls to maintain their girliness, get it? You girls only remain cute by this action! Their constant painstaking endeavors to do so! Understand? The moment you stop supporting her efforts to be cute, she stops being your hot wife and turns into your platonic roommate! So you okay with that, NASA? <gasps> huh? Shopping for clothes? <laughs> now that I look, that sweatshirt of yours is getting a little ratty there. No, not for me, for you! For me? Your stuff burned in the fire. Now that you mention it, you're right. The summer clothes and pajamas I left there are gone now. You sure about this? Women's clothing can be kind of expensive. It, it'll be perfectly fine, I'm sure. Plus, I want to see my wife look adorable in a bunch of different outfits. I'm curious, darling. Where do you normally go to buy all your clothing? Uh, a department store. Menswear. Okay, let's go to Harajuku. Huh? Wow, they have so many clothes here. Yep, that's Harajuku for you. I'll try on a few outfits first, then show you. Oh, sure. Well, how do I look? Doesn't matter what she wears, she looks great. You think it suits me? Yes, it does. You're so cute. <laughs> You're so sweet. Uh, it's cute. Like, really cute, but I I think it, it might be a little revealing. I know that's sort of the point of summer clothes, but to think uh. of other guys seeing so much of you is kind of... <laughs> NASA, I didn't know you had such a jealous streak. Then how about you pick out some stuff you like? <gasps> some clothes you think would look cute on me, but also appropriate. <sighs> oh yeah, I got you. I'll go pick some stuff out. <laughs> You've got surprisingly girly taste, darling. But you, you look really cute, though. <laughs> By the way, I know we came here for clothes, but I was thinking I needed something else, too. I want to get some underwear. Is that okay? <laughs> um, are, uh, are men allowed in this section, or am I going to get booted? I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, but I... Feels like I could get arrested just for standing here. You worry too much. As long as you're holding my hand, no one will care. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Thanks. I never knew women's underwear had so many options. I guess you're right. Whatever Sukasa picks out today is what she'll be wearing from now on, right? I wonder what it's gonna be. On second thought, this should be a solo mission. Oh no! She got me loose! No, wait! If you leave me alone in here, they'll arrest me for sure! You're gonna be okay. Just don't look suspicious. Yeah, that's not gonna help. Uh, fine, sit down here. Just make a face that screams I'm tagging along with my wife and no one will even glance at you. Oh, you think so? Just give me a quick second. I'm so curious, how much does women's underwear usually cost anyway? <gasps> That's a fortune! No wonder they put them in mesh bags to wash them! Some of it seems more reasonable, I guess. Huh? Hey, uh, are you sure you want these cheap ones? Yeah, of course. They're ultimately disposable. You're such a doll. I managed to score lots of super cute underwear thanks to you. Oh, that's fantastic. And wonder of wonders, you didn't even get arrested. I mean, we are married after all. 
So will I ever get to see my wife in her underwear someday without it being weird? Um, hey, uh... Is something wrong, darling? You okay? Well, I... If I... If I asked to see, then would you, um... Would you mind showing me what you look like in your cute under thingies? I guess as much as you want. No, come on, let's go. We need to find some great clothes for you. Yeah, yeah totally. Let's go get me some clothes. Yeah, exactly. Stylish, hip, cool, right? Yes, yeah, stylish, style, fashion, hip, cool. We were both so embarrassed. Oh, we dropped it and changed the subject entirely. Kaname showed us the unit. This building was where my stupid dad used to do all his nerdy crap. And was keeping all of this stuff in storage in case he needed it. So if you want to use anything in here, please feel free. And as unquestionably grateful as I am for that... Once it's all put together... It looks like we lived decades in the past. Hey, want help with anything? Well, if you want, you could do this. Just be hungry. What do you say? <gasps> All right! Holy wow! You actually made real tone katsu. I didn't know people could make this at home. It's a fair bit of work, but yeah. You don't fry it, you buy it. That's the Yuzuki family motto. That's what my mom always said, so the idea never occurred to me. Maybe we can retire that family motto. Uh, sure. Okay, let's eat. Oh, huh? I didn't see a rice cooker in this place. How did you manage to make the rice? What do you mean? There was a ceramic pot, so I just cooked it in that. What? Wait, so you can use a pot for that? You know, for many centuries, that's how the human race had to make rice. Now, come on and eat up before it gets cold. Oh, uh, right. You don't have to ask me twice. <sighs> this is delicious. I've never tasted pork so juicy and flavorful. Glad you like it. Is this some kind of special pork or what? Nope. I just bought it because it was on sale. If you start at low heat, then refry at a higher temperature, the outside becomes nice and crispy while the inside stays moist. Incredible. Well, it tastes so good. I'd probably eat it every day. Every day might be overdoing it, but tell me when you want it again. Listen up, darling. About tonkatsu. The people who are able to eat it whenever they want are some of the best people ever. I'm not quite sure what that means, but I won't question her clear passion for tonkatsu. By the way, the sauce is yummy too. Oh, thanks. I made that as well. You, you make that from scratch too? I want to cook you all kinds of things. I'm going to use your tongue for my personal experimentation. <laughs> now hurry up and eat while it's still hot. Oh, right. Yes, she's got a point. I'll be eating her home <laughs> cooking for the rest of my life, more than anything else. Home cooking by my own wife! Thanks for dinner. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Let me help you. No, don't even worry about it. You watch TV. Go ahead. Yeah, might as well. Huh? Why is the screen still dark? Huh? Ah, there. Good, it's coming in now. Guess that's a CRT TV for you. <sighs> oh, hey, NASA. Konami, what's up? Everything all right? A guest brought us one of these as a present, and I wanted to offer you guys some. Wow, a muskmelon. Yeah, thanks. It looks so good. Okay, gotta be going now. Uh -huh. Already? Well, I'd hate to get in your way after all. Bye. Enjoy yourselves now. And don't worry, I don't think the sound carries all the way to the house. What are you suggesting, Konami? <laughs> Good night, lovebirds. <laughs> She's such a kidder. I wonder what that could have been about. <laughs> well, since she gave us the melon, we might as well dig into it, right? G Good idea. These melons are kind of majestic, aren't they, though? Agreed. All right, let's skate. Oh. oh my! It's so good! I had no idea muskmelon tasted like heaven. Seriously? For Kaname to give this to us, 
She and her guest are incredibly nice people. Well, then we'll return the favor. Being able to just kick back and eat melon with you like this is great. Same here. Oh. Tsukasa. Huh? Say ya. Uh. Um, yeah. That's not exactly my kind of thing. Oh, she's being shy. That's so cute. But remember that time at the service area? How you fed me the lime udon? That's totally different. I just wanted you to try it for the first time. Yeah, but it's only us here right now. And there are so many awkward things that I want to try! I understand. Who is that? My former landlord. He's building a new apartment complex and he just told me I could move in. Aw, man, you're moving out already? No, no, nothing's been decided yet. But we can't stay here and impose on your family forever, can we? Yeah, living here probably makes it harder to mess around. Ew, were you even listening, Konami? Maybe. The thought of me watching would add a little spice to it. Is that what you want, huh? Is it not that? Into that stuff. Huh? Really? A new apartment? Well, it turns out he's building a brand new one on the same lot where ours burned down. And he also offered to let us move in without any security deposit or initial fee and keeping the same rent I had before. That's definitely quite a deal. There's supposed to be a prototype room, too. Do you want to check it out today? Mm-hmm. prototype room for our new apartment is in here? Are you sure he said the rent would be the same? Yeah, 48,000 yen a month. Is your landlord an oil tycoon or something? I'm pretty sure the key in the map I was given say this is the place. Yeah, I think someone must have made a mistake. Well, we're here, so we might as well check it out. Huh? I mean, when else will we get a chance to check out such a swanky building? Oh, I get it. Pretending to be celebrities, darling. All right, I'm in. We're famous. Huh? Wait, famous? It's exquisite and classy. The mark of any star's building, a decorated hallway. Oh, holy wow. And look at those massive doors. They definitely make an impression. I bet more than half the residents are YouTubers. I've heard that pays more than any other job in Japan. I don't think that's quite accurate. Now I know why people live in high rises. Huh? I've never seen a high ceiling like this. Yeah. Look, darling, they even made sure you can see the whole city from here, too. Yeah, you're right. It's a bath with a view. <laughs> it's undeniable. This place would make anyone feel A-list. Oh, I agree. Well, no matter where we end up, if it has a bath, I don't care if there's a view. <laughs> Yes, of course. The next place we move definitely has to have a bathtub. Will that finally mean a shared bath time? Just a month and a half. A month and a half from now, my wife and I are going to... Hey, do you want to get in here with me, darling? No, no, that's okay. I'm saving it for later. Huh? <laughs> it's gigantic. That looks like a queen-sized bed. When your place is this huge, I guess you get the big bed, too. Yeah, right? Um, quick question. When we move into our new apartment soon... Would you like to, uh, sleep in the same bed? Uh, uh, well, I, I think I like that. I like it a lot. <sighs> Looks like that was the wrong model room after all. I had a feeling, but still, I did enjoy feeling fancy for a day. I did too. Don't worry. I'll work hard so we can live like that one day. Well, that sounds promising. But if I'm being honest, well, wherever we do live, I'll like it. A big fancy home would make me feel so grand and proud. And a small cozy one would let me feel your warmth up close. We could enjoy the little quirks of an older place. And in a newer one, we'd be the first to make memories there. 
No matter where we live, I'm sure some things will be annoying, and others will be fabulous. A home is what you make of it. But I think that's why it doesn't really matter. Because wherever you are, my darling, I know that'll be the place I belong. <laughs> Trust me, you're not the only one. Now, In fact, I would say the exact are. same thing. My name is Kaname Arisagawa. I'm 15 in high school and I work at a bathhouse. My mornings start early. I'm up at 5.30 to get the place ready to open. And I get my butt out of bed to do it every day. But because I've got my act together, it's never an issue. I'm so amazing. A real go-getter. But I admit, balancing this with going to school does come with its drawbacks. Do you need help? Oh, hey, Tsukasa. You look tired. Can I help you? No, oh, I'm fine. Please don't trouble yourself. A young lady such as you shouldn't worry about cleaning up a bathhouse first thing in the morning, okay? But you're younger than I am. <sighs> this is Tsukasa Yuzuki, the wife of the person I respect more than almost anyone else in the world. They had some bad luck and they're living with us right now. But to be honest, I still haven't really gotten to know her all that well. Do you always clean up by yourself every morning? Uh, yeah, I guess I do. My mom takes care of things when I'm, you know, at school. I see. Well, you work very hard. When I offered my help earlier, it's possible you misunderstood me. Huh? I hate the idea of imposing on you without reciprocating. Unlike NASA, I haven't known your family long. I still don't really. So I'd love it if you'd let me help you out a bit. I might not know much about her yet, but that smile's practically cheating. Okay, you win. You can help me clean the place up. Thank you. You know, maybe having a nickname for you would help bring us closer. Huh? Maybe... I'll call you, uh, Tsuka? Uh... <laughs> yeah, I think I'd really like that. So then, what name would you like me to call you? Kana? Oh no, you should just call me Kanabe. <laughs> I'd be glad to, Kana. Well, in that case, let's start cleaning up, okay? Any spots you see that this robot can't get to, you'll want to hit. A robot? Oh wow, didn't know they sold these. They actually don't. What? NASA took a store-bought cleaning unit and he customized it just for us. Also, he set up this automated bucket cleaner to save more time. According to his thinking, the key to efficiency is innovation, designing revolutionary ideas that redefine the system. But that's not all. He came up with all kinds of great innovations for the bathhouse. <sighs> I'm actually convinced he might be a certain armor-clad businessman reborn. <laughs> that aside, there are plenty of spots the robot can't clean, like the walls and the drains. I'll see that the women's bath is handled. Why don't you take care of the men's bath, okay? You got it. Now let's see what one of these modern girls knows about scrubbing tiles and sweeping floors. <laughs> uh, have you done this before? Not exactly, but I'm impressed and humbled. Huh? Even with the robot, cleaning each corner takes tons of work, and some areas are so dirty no one would go near them. I'm surprised this job isn't easy. You really deserve respect for doing this every single day. You truly amaze me. I think I'm finally starting to get it now. Why wouldn't NASA fall head over heels for her? Wow, you still use firewood in this day and age? It can use oil too, but this is better and cheaper. And thanks to NASA upgrading all the piping to the necessary current standards, we have fantastic heat retention. He did that too? This bathhouse is chock full of improvements he's responsible for. It's thanks to him that our family business recovered. In fact, I should have said this sooner. Huh? I know you saved NASA's life, and I'm so grateful to you for it. If you hadn't put your own life at risk to do it, even the thought of really losing NASA, truly, I can never thank you enough. I'm thankful I was able to save him too. Huh? That huge truck was barreling down the road so fast. 
I wondered if he was trying to kill himself. And before I could even think, I just dove in there. And you didn't even get injured a little bit? <laughs> of course! I had broken bones, my head was split. And yet, here we both are safe and happy. Because the person I love more than anything turned out to be him. Well, I see Nas is a lucky guy. I completely agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh, and thanks again. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> good morning, Sukasa. Uh, ah, good morning, darling. When did you and Kaname become such good friends? Hmm? It was bound to happen eventually. Uh -huh. We both happened to care deeply about the same person. Huh? Come on, let's go inside and have breakfast. Oh, this is bad. My big sister's status is almost obsolete. I'm an afterthought. I'm an NPC. I might be in a spin-off. What kinds of things do you like, Nasa? Uh... Sukasa! Uh, no, that's not what I meant. I mean, what do you like to eat? You know, your favorite foods? Oh, yeah, food, of course, duh. And not that same all-purpose hot pot that you always made. Funny you should ask. I ran a behavior test. What do you mean by that? I altered a few independent variables to track how all the dependent variables differed. To check things out mathematically. This is an oddly intricate answer to a question about meal preference. And the conclusion? I like curry! Well, it's good you figured that out. Yep. Okay, I see. Although, now that I know that, we don't have the ingredients. Oh, was this for tomorrow? Yeah. But we don't have any curry powder, so I'm thinking I might get some. Cool, I'll come with huh? you. Why? I'm just running to the supermarket. It would be a nice evening stroll, you know, for both of us. Hey, where are you two kids going? Out for an evening stroll. To buy curry powder. Oh, how lovely. Rasa, come here a sec. Uh huh? What is it? While you're out, take the route that goes right by Otoki Park. What? But why? Not a soul will be there at this hour, so it's just the perfect spot to do things. <laughs> what kinds of things? But you don't get it, I wasn't planning on doing anything, see? Oh, you're married. Don't be such a prude. Married couples need to spice things up sometimes. No, no, we don't need any extra spice yet. Good grief. Now I understand why Kaname acts the way she does. What are you talking about? <sighs> nothing, nothing special. Uh, just the trade war between the U.S. and China. That's a pretty intense topic to discuss before going on an errand. Well, let's go now. Come on, Tsukasa. Oh, okay. Be safe out there. Well, we've got the curry powder, but... Of course, walking around would make us hungry, so... It made sense to pick up a snack. Sometimes you've got to be spontaneous on an evening stroll. Oh. oh, this is yummy. And it's chilly out tonight, so it warms you up too. Glad we made this errand an evening stroll. Yeah, so am I. If we were a couple still in high school, our parents would be waiting at the door for us. But we're married, so we don't have to worry about that. Also, why are we walking where there are no other people? <laughs> Not a soul will be there at this hour, so it's just the perfect spot to do things. It's a total coincidence, I assure you. Oh, is it now? Yes, I swear, seriously. <laughs> what exactly were you planning to do with a girl like me in a place like this? All alone in the dark of night, eh? Kiss you. Huh? I said I was planning to kiss you. Uh, oh, I see now. Well, that's a rather macho assertion there, darling. Yeah, but I wanted to be honest. Oh, I see. Well, that's admirable of you. In that case... Wait, hold up a second. But why? Uh, because... Because of that meat bun. It was overloaded with a mountain of garlic. What? I don't care at all about the garlic. First off, we're married. And I eat one, too. Even so, I'm self-conscious about it. Therefore, I think we'll have to take a rain check. <laughs> uh, I knew I should have bought red bean buns. Or maybe even grilled sweet potatoes. But it's so quiet and calm. Kind of like you and I are the only ones left in the whole entire world. She said she didn't want to be kissed right now, but... 
for the first time I never even knew existed before. Thanks to you. From now on, I'm going to learn so much more and feel everything, Nasa. Sukasa. Uh. I love your body. It's so delicate and hot. If it feels hot, then it's all because of you. I haven't felt this way before. Not ever. And neither have I. Almost every day I go through a new first, all because of you. I think all the new beginnings I'm experiencing are yours too. You have filled my war with love, joy and laughter. I'm no longer the same person since I met you. Without you. Love me. Chitose. Oh, look at that, it's Chitose. Hey, sister, what is the meaning of this? 
Well, uh, we ran out of detergent, so I went to buy some more. But that's not what I meant! <laughs> I was talking about your apartment! You know, the one that's gone because it burned to the ground? Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, it was a huge shock. Well, gotta go. Bye. Now tell me what happened! And incidentally, where are you even living since your house went bye-bye? Well, actually, to be honest, it's... right there. What? Seriously? You're telling me that you live in a park now? I sure am. You'd be surprised how cold it can get at night. I do have gas and electricity, at least. Hop inside for a sec. What? You have gas in this thing? Still, even if you do have those things, I can't imagine you'd be allowed to use them. Oh, 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 oh come on, where'd you go now? How is anyone that gullible? Yeah... I'm home. Welcome back. Ah, uh, that's a lot of stuff there. And I see a few select treasures. Hmm. Uh, what's wrong, darling? I was just wondering what this thing is. Oh, that? It's a takoyaki plate. <gasps> but what does it have to do with takoyaki? Oh, you can't tell? It's what you use to grill it. Wow, imagine that. So there's the secret to takoyaki. Oh, darling, for as smart as you are, you're equally dense about some things. Since you found it, shall we have takoyaki? Oh, yeah? Sure, it's easy. Well, why wait? Let's do that thing. Thing? The favorite pastime of cool young people! Taco party! Wait, a taco party? Since you've been kind enough to put us up, I thought I'd check with you. Of course, it won't just be takoyaki. Ah, sounds great then. Count me in. All the cool kids love parties. Taco parties, of course. Octopi. I'm wondering where you got that idea. And also, uh, I haven't really spoken with Aya much, so I thought this would be a nice way to get to know her better. Well, I don't have any problem with it, but... But what? You remember that issue of hers, right? You know, about you being married and all. Uh, of course. So I'm just not sure how she'd feel about a party with her romantic rival. Now I have you think, sister! <sighs> uh, Chitose? Well, you're a hard person to lose. Because no matter where you go, I can set it. Because I thought you'd be a major pain if you knew where I lived. That is so mean. And what is this place? <sighs> it's that most public of gathering places, a bathhouse. And you would be the woman in charge around here, Kaname Arisagawa. <sighs> Well, then what is my sister doing here? As a matter of fact, the Yuzukis are living with us. They actually live in this bathhouse? Uh, yes, exactly. I've been sleeping right here in this spot. <laughs> On the floor? And you're using these milk bottles for a pillow? Sukasa, you shouldn't tease her like that. Chitose's extremely gullible. <laughs> for real, just tell me, where do you live? The building out back. My word, this place is really quite impressive. I've never been in a bathhouse before. Hey, can we go inside? Would that be okay? Hey, <gasps> didn't come to sit around in a spa! Aw, oh, come on now, don't be like that. If you have a relaxing bath, you'll have a cooler head when you have that chat. Huh? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Great, then let's all check out! Service, service. Ooh, you know, soothe your skin. Hey, no touching. Already. I can only take about five more minutes. Yeah! What a wonderful bath. Let's come again. I think so. Goodbye. See you next time. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye now. Wait, no, not yet. She's a lot of fun, isn't she? Yeah, sometimes. Well, the bath was nice, though, right? <sighs> it was delightful. <laughs> oh, wait, that's a totally different matter. But anyway, does that mean you're living here as a guest, big sister? That's right. If you insist on staying at a place like this... What's that supposed to mean? Well, I didn't mean anything bad by that. I swear, really, I didn't. Please, this bathhouse is an absolute delight. What a wuss. But what I'm saying is, if you're going to impose on someone, then you might as well do it at my place. Unfortunately.
I'm afraid not. Huh? Why not, big sister? Please tell me! Do you really hate me that much, is that it? Fine, I'll tell you. See, it's because this place has a mega drive. Uh, <laughs> really? That's your reason? Wait, they have an MD here? Oh, I guess I understand then. What? She does? She sure seems to. Now you know. That's why I can't stay at your place! Sister, listen, please! Sorry, what were they talking about again? <laughs> I think it means they're good friends. Then we'll just buy one for the house! Big deal! There's bound to be plenty of people selling them online, right? Whoa, come on now, hold up. It isn't only the console. Do, do you really believe that'd be enough to change my mind? Sounds like she's about to. Then I'll just have to get a Pippin and a laser active while I'm at it. How does that sound now? Uh -huh. <gasps> I'll get a Pewta and an SG-10,000. I'll even get a PECA. So stop messing around and just come and stay with me. Yes, yes. I'd love to. <sighs> the hell are you? That's Aya. This here is my older sister. Huh? Her big sister, Aya. Nice to meet you. You were saying something about getting a laser active? I've been dying to try one out! Ugh. Since we're all here, maybe it's time for... Huh? Taco? Oh yeah, great idea! It'll give the group a chance to get better acquainted. Hmm? Taco? Party? You mean like those parties that the cool young people are always having? Uh-huh, and there'll be lots of other food too. Although, with this many people, I'm going to need more groceries. We sort of anticipated that! It's a good thing we were proactive. Damn, I want a maid now. No kidding, who are they? Yeah, it looks like this should be enough for everyone. Okay, darling, I'm going to head back now and start prepping. All right, can't wait. Is Tsukasa really skilled in the kitchen? She's good at everything else. I saw this on TV. Young people nowadays can't cook anything. They don't even know the nani nune no of food. I mean, that is so sad. So can she really cook? You mean the sashi tsuseito, right? Then this will truly be the perfect opportunity to see if she's good enough for him. Huh? Are you kidding? He's the one who's not good enough. What? Do you have some kind of issue with their being married? I'm not against it, per se. I just don't accept it. Damn right. What kind of wife can't even cook, huh? Just give it up now. What about you, Aya? Do you know how to cook at all? Oh, don't be ridiculous. After all, I happen to be one of those young persons. She actually has a point. Tsukasa's a fantastic cook, really. You have nothing to worry about at all. He's not exactly an objective judge. We'll have to try it for ourselves. Well, I don't have to try it first. I know how incredible my sister's cooking is. Now, so let me apologize to you. My sister's a pain. I will rake her over the coals later. No, don't. It's okay. This party's already getting crazy enough. I got a little carried away, so eat all you want. Now then, friends, I'd like to start this takoyaki party to bring the Arisugawas, the Yuzukis, and Chitose and her friends closer together. Cheers! Why am I joining in? Oh, relax, okay? Uh, uh, you really made all this, Sukasa? To be fair, the maids helped out too. She was so on top of everything, all we really did was get the plates ready. Well, food is supposed to taste good, not just look good. Oh, OMG, yum! It's like being at a restaurant, but even better! There's plenty more, so eat up. And this pasta, the cheese hugs it like a little blanket and heightens the flavor. That's the point. I'm so glad to see you're enjoying it. I see you have quite a sophisticated palate, Aya. What? Oh, you think so? I guess maybe I do know food! No, wait! Used to be manipulated. I, I'm not. I was. I was. Uh... What's up? Got something rude to say about my sister's cooking? No, nothing. Cause it was freaking delicious. What? But no, it takes so much more than cooking to be an amazing wife. <laughs> On that note, now that we've had a little food, let's get the real party started. Uh, oh yeah, I'm in. Taco parties are great! Except there's no takoyaki yet. <laughs> wow, this is only the fifth one of these? I thought there were tons more. At least I've played the second one before. 
Is this one good? Are, Are you kidding? Of course it is! Sorry, never mind. Since he hasn't touched the game since the first sequel, it's probably a good idea to give him a brief tutorial. Knowing the rules, procedure, and objective definitely makes watching it more interesting. Hey, darling. Take the controller. Okay. What kind of video games have you played before? Uh, let's see. There's Solitaire. <sighs> ah, and Minesweeper. But you did say you've at least played the second game before, right? That's right. Dad had it on the Super Famicom. Yeah, perfect KO! I am so impressed. Games really have come a long way. It's so cool. More lifelike characters, but I guess now the super moves are all gone. No, it's just that you didn't use the inputs for them. Hadouken, perfect KO! Music kind of sucks at this. Like, really a lot, I would say. I mean, I think even I could destroy him at this game. Oh? How good are you, Konami? Well, my sister's better, but she's always bugging me to play, so I've had some practice. Oh, I see. You sure know how to block, and how to use the special moves, too. I ask Krabby if I don't get all into it. Uh, well, well, that would certainly explain it, then. I guess that means it's time to shift up. Pretty good there. Mm. Nicely done, Sukasa. Ah, she's no. super great at video games, see? Apparently. <laughs> oh, and she also really hates to lose. Yeah, I'm guessing. Uh, maybe a little bit. <clears throat> I think it's time to get the show on the road. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's having fun. If everyone's going to be playing, wouldn't it be more exciting if we gave a fun prize to the winner? Huh? Oh, a prize? Good idea. But do we have anything around here that would work? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome! We are now picking up the very first year of the Oswald's Strongest Tournament! Strongest? Tournament? The winner will receive a favor from the esteemed head of the Yuzuki household, Nasa Yuzuki, in which you perform any task you ask him to do! <laughs> That's physically possible, wouldn't you say? Maybe. Or probably. Just as long as I'm still able to. Anything he can do at all? <gasps> yes! I can't think of any specifics, but I'd love to get him to do something! If I'm going to protect my darling, I have to win this thing. Is there anything you can think of? I don't know. Sakasa already kicked my butt before, and if Aya joins in, I can practically guarantee I've lost the whole thing already. Nah. You all can have your fun with NASA. Looks like it's just the three of us going head to head in this tournament then, ladies. Sister or not, I'm gonna go positively medieval on you. Really? I've been training online ever since you moved out. We should know I'm not the same crappy player I was back in the day. I'm not fooling around. I've been streaming games and commentary just for a moment like this. Sukasa, you can be the seated competitor. There's your wedding present. You sure? It suits me. You can see how much I've improved and use the time to come up with a good strategy. <sighs> Fight! They're really hitting it off, aren't they? This taco party worked out. Even if the taco part doesn't apply yet. If I pull off this win, I'll make you walk through the whole neighborhood on just your hands and you'll be naked. Big sister will drop you like a bad habit. Is that out loud? So many fighters. Now who am I gonna be? <laughs> Cyclone! Alright, let's see how much you've actually improved. This will be over in one second. Come on! KO! Uh, oh, I can't believe it, I won! Uh, okay, what happened just now? Alright, you're so good it's scary. <laughs> Do over! I don't think my controller was plugged all the way in. Yeah, okay, I'll beat you as many times as you want. Let's go! I've got you now! K.O. K.O. Perfect K.O. No way, I couldn't win, not even one time. Oh my, you done already? Aya is really good at video games, huh? Yeah, I really wish she'd dedicate a little bit more of that psycho energy to studying. Are you ready for your beatdown now, Sukasa? 
The thing is, Chitose didn't even play badly. I was just too good. But if I use one of my go-to characters, I should have a decent chance. Right. May the best woman win. Get ready to see what I'm really capable of. I will, and I'll destroy you, too. <sighs> okay, let's go. Tsukasa <laughs> really seems to know what she's doing. It sure looks that way. That's enough. When she lived with me, there were times when she would play for 24 hours straight. That kind of devotion's almost admirable. <laughs> ah, here it comes! Ah! That was seriously a cheap move. I'll take that as a compliment. On the battlefield, all bets are off. This is everything I've got! Here it comes! trying to bait certain responses, you'd be on more solid ground. I'm just a little rusty, okay? Uh -huh. And I forgot the rhythm and sequencing for the controls because I haven't played it in a while. Oh, that's a pretty lame excuse. <laughs> what do you say? How about another round? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> How about a change-up? We'll put this one on deck. Huh? What's that? Darling, please hook it up, will you? What? And get that stuff I asked you for ready. Well, if you insist. Wait, what? What the? Seriously? Oh, just Street Fighter? And what's with that? The history of fighting games can be traced right through Street Fighter. The first version came with a controller that's long since been discontinued. And I've had Darling custom replicate that very controller. I had to get pretty creative. I doubt she's played this one before, but we'll find out. You weren't kidding. Losing just isn't Tsukasa's mm. thing. Huh? I don't get this game! How do I even pull off a Hadouken or Shuriuken? How exactly does this stupid primitive controller work? How do I fierce punch or forward kick? Ah! Gotta say, damn, I'm good. Mastering retro games on top of everything else, just brilliant. What do you say? Want to go again? Uh, hell yeah, I do! I think they've completely forgotten there's a prize at stake. Oh well, maybe all they really wanted was to play video games. I'm amazed she's willing to keep going in a game she's never played before and without any edge. When it comes to this stuff, my sister massively hates to lose too. Yeah, still, she doesn't stand a chance to considering. Don't be too sure about that. See, I'm the sort of person most people would describe as a very hard worker. As for Aya, well, she's kind of dumb, but she's a natural at this. So knowing her. Yes, that ought to do it. <laughs> what the? Oh no, she's got the controller dialed in now. Fair enough. No more Mrs. Nice Guy. Took you long enough. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Oh, careful there. <laughs> no, don't you dare. Here. <laughs> don't try to flip them over all at once. You can turn them one piece at a time, darling. Slowly. Did I do it like right? Like this, um, and then this. Hey, it worked. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it helps to do this, too. Wow, it looks perfect. Hey, Chitose, are you all right? Yes, of course, I'm fine. Oh, you still don't approve of them. That's it, isn't it? Not really. As long as she's happy, I have nothing more to say about it. Wow! <laughs> oh, you're finally getting the picture. I know, she's growing up. Shut <laughs> up, you stupid jerks! Yeah. Uh, man, 
taco parties can get rowdy. Yes, indeed. See you It was a pretty fun party, huh? Definitely. It was just what we needed. I had such a great time. We should have another one soon. Sure, but I'd rather not be the prize again, if that's okay. Speaking of which, I think you forgot about that. But I'm curious, what exactly were you planning on doing, if, you know, you actually won? That's what I was going to do. Okay. You can do that whenever you want, by the way. Then sometimes I will. Nasa Yuzuki here. What? Oh, the system is down? Right. Okay, I understand. I agree, that does sound pretty serious. All right, I'll see what I can do about it. I'll get back to you when I'm done. What's going on, darling? Something wrong? No big deal, but I have to take care of it. It might take a little bit of work, though. I see. Well, as ever, be careful. Huh? You tend to be one of those people who has trouble gauging when to step on the brakes. Step on the brakes? <laughs> oh, come on now, Tsukasa. I promise I won't crash the car. Laugh it up. If you really believe that, darling, you need some self-reflection. <sighs> Humans are imperfect. And there's a lot they still don't understand, particularly when it comes to themselves. Which is why, when they do notice something, it's often too late. <coughs> there. Whew, glad that's off my plate. Sorry if I was keeping you up too late. It's okay. But I'm a little worried, darling. Your face is looking pretty flushed. Huh? Don't worry, I feel fine. <coughs> All right, that settles it. Where do we keep the thermometer? No, seriously, it's nothing. <coughs> <coughs> Here, put it under your arm right now. Really? You still insist on taking my temperature? Honestly, there's no need for this. I don't feel sick at all. 39.8 degrees? <laughs> That's it! We're going straight to the hospital! <sighs> A garden variety summer cold. Yeah, I guess you were right. How are you feeling now? Um, the second I noticed I was running such a high fever, I started feeling dizzy. In hindsight, my body kind of ached this morning, but I really didn't think much of it. And why exactly not? Well, it doesn't matter. Your cute newlywed wife is going to look after you until you get all better. No, please stay away. I don't want you to catch this. I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a while. You don't have to worry about me. I never get sick or injured for that matter. She doesn't get hurt or sick? Uh, forget it. My brain is mush. So tell me, darling, anything special you want to eat? Oh. <sighs> what if I had nothing else to do besides looking after him? As his cute newlywed wife, there are all kinds of things I'd like to do to help him heal. But I really don't know what else to do. I guess for now, I'll take some cute sleeping pictures. <sighs> I feel so much better. Clearly getting some sleep helped. Really? That's a relief. Yeah, I mean, compared to before. Oh, wow. I slept a long time. It's already 8 p.m. Yes, darling. Does that mean you're hungry now? Is there anything you want to eat? Or maybe you want to drink something? I bought some fruit, uh, okay? I, oh, uh, thank you. But I'm not quite sure my appetite is back to normal yet. 
Well, okay. Oh, so... Wait, is she upset about this? I wanted to do all kinds of things as your cute newlywed wife, so I could help you feel better. As your cute newlywed wife! Oh, I see. Sorry about that. Actually, I'm soaked from sweating so much. A change of clothes would help. Huh? Change of clothes? Wouldn't it make more sense to wipe yourself down first, though? Uh, well, okay, I guess so. In that case, why don't you let me help you? Close off! Huh? No, uh, please, I can do it myself! No, you can't. It's much better if you let your cute newlywed wife wipe your back. She's so stripped! What? Okay, here goes. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> what? Too cold? Uh, it's fine. Are you good? Am I getting it all? Y yeah, it really does feel nice. But I'm still hot, only in a completely different way. Huh? Now, time to wipe below. Shorts off! Huh? My shorts isn't like my underwear? Sure, fresh underwear is the most important. No, really, I can handle that part by myself! Yeah, but as your cute newly wet wife, it's my job to help you out! I'm okay! Seriously, I'll be fine! Are you sure? Yes, really! Would you be embarrassed if the situation was reversed? Reversed? Uh, uh yeah, I guess I would. Told you? But... but I... Hmm? I wouldn't mind at all... if you were doing it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, darling, since you seem to be feeling better now, would you like some fruit? Y yeah, sure. That sounds good. Here, now say, ah. Uh... Uh... <laughs> Is it good? Glad to hear it. Gotta be honest. Maybe getting sick sometimes isn't that bad. You know, we're lucky this was only a minor cold. I am sorry if I made you worry too much. Oh, I wasn't the littlest bit worried. Huh? It's just a tiny bug. I knew rest and medicine was all you needed. Oh, right, gotcha. I really don't get sick very often, though, so it did come as a bit of a shock. Want my opinion? Huh? I would bet it's not that you rarely get sick or injured. It's more that you tend to not notice it when you do. What? You remember the first time I met you? You were so badly injured, yet you ran miles through the snow to find me. Most people with those injuries wouldn't be able to move. Oh, yeah, good point. And honestly, you might not have noticed this time either if I hadn't pointed it out. You've got to know when to slow down, because you could die if you don't, get it? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Hmm. On the night we first met, I remember saying, You've only got one life, so take better care of it. You really only ever have the one, so... Uh, um, well, I... Well, anyway, we need to let the healing process run its course. So we should go to bed now. Oh, yeah. As usual, Tsukasa's totally right. Now that I'm married, I need to take better care of myself. Uh, uh Tsukasa? Weird. Did I imagine that? Hey, are you okay? I lied before. I mean, when I said I wasn't worried about you. I just wanted to tell you. I'm glad you're better. <laughs> I know I worried you. I'm so sorry. Seriously, what a terrible thing to do, darling. I think I might have been more focused than usual this time. Because I want us to go to the summer festival. Uh, oh yes, of course. That's right. I just saw a flyer for it. And that's what I do. Go into high gear to finish my work quickly. That way we could enjoy it. Nasa. Although, there's no point if I run myself down and you have to play nurse to me. So I'll be more careful from now on. Mm. Hey, um, could you maybe not, um, no!
I realize you're feeling frisky, but you still aren't well enough yet! I'm sorry, but the way you worried and fussed over me was so cute I couldn't help it. Darling, listen! Yes? Remember what I said about slowing down? Oh, right. I was genuinely worried about you. So if you really want me to stop worrying, just go to sleep! Sorry, I'll do it again. It's kind of nice having someone worry about you so much. It seems impossible to think anyone would spend so much energy doing that. Until you have a spouse, then it makes all the sense in the world. If you're going to the summer festival, then you should probably wear a yukata. A yukata? Absolutely! You're a married couple. Both of you wearing his and hers yukatas would be such an adorable vibe, you know? <sighs> Tying the obi correctly is kind of a pain, though. No, I'm telling you. If you wear a pretty yukata, trust me, your sick husband's gonna snap right back to help. You think so? Yes! Because yukatas are super hot and sexy, duh! And you're saying that works? Well, yeah. In fact, there's a scientific basis for it. Only a lunatic would doubt the synergy between a wife, a yukata, and a lazy day! Why are you always making everything sound so dirty? Come on, don't be like that. Uh huh? I'll take them, in case you change your mind, huh? Oh, you got this, huh? And according to what Konami said, yours will fit you. I scoped out every nook and cranny on NASA to gauge his exact size. Wait, sorry, but the size of what exactly? Darling, huh? do you mind turning around? I'm gonna get changed. Oh, sure. My cute wife is right behind me, changing her clothes. Well, we are married after all. So how mad could she really get if I decided to... I mean, is it really an avert your eyes situation? Um, hey, uh... Would you mind very much if I... watched you change? Huh? <gasps> Did you say you want to watch me? Uh, yes, please, I sure would, if you don't mind. Okay, just so I'm clear. Well, darling, you're certainly blunt about this kind of thing, huh? Yes, I'd rather not peek without getting your permission. As in, you would still want to see either way? I wouldn't say that, per se. Well, if you really want to look that badly... <gasps> For real? Just a quick peek, though. Well, since you said it was okay... you could peek, but you're just straight up staring at me. I know, but you're incredibly pretty. Thank you, darling. You need to get changed, too. If you don't hurry up, the fireworks are gonna start. Oh, all right. Hmm? But, uh, hmm. this yukata, you look so stunning in it. Uh, th thank you. We just don't have time for this. We need to get going. Yeah, right. Sorry. I swear, you really can be incredibly bold sometimes. <laughs> you got everything we need? Yeah, I've got the camera right here, too. It's so hard to capture good pictures of the fireworks. Not a problem. I'm mainly bringing it so I can take pictures of you looking cute in that yukata of yours. <sighs> oh, silly me. Oh, so cute! Wait, you're taking them now? Can it wait? Please, Can't what are you that? doing? Wow, there are so many boots to check out. I know. So, do you want anything to eat? Hmm, what do I feel like having? Oh, takoyaki! Let's buy a box, then we can share it. We just had a takoyaki party the other day. The thing is, darling, I just prefer takoyaki that isn't fried. <gasps> and most of the major takoyaki chains in Kanto fry them, right? But I personally think that not frying them is a far better technique, so when I see people making them the right way in places like this, I get this mad got urge! It, got it, I'll get those for you. Here, check it out. Now this is the traditional stuff I had hoped for. <laughs> Excellent. Let's eat! Be careful. They're hot, you know. Huh? Hey, what's wrong? 
Well, it's just that, uh, with the same husband who wanted to see me change, also be open to being fed by me, I was just wondering, you know? Uh, that's okay. Makes sense. Seeing as we did that a lot when you were so sick yesterday. No, that's not what I mean. Never mind. Let's just eat. How? Oh, oh, why do you think takoyaki is so hot? <laughs> That's part of what makes it so good, though. You know, we still have some time before the fireworks start. What should we do? I have the perfect thing for you two. How about catching some goldfish? What do you say? Wait, what the? You're here, Aya? And Shitose, too? <laughs> Konami asked us to help out the local businesses. <laughs> that still doesn't explain why I have to be here. Why, by the way? Oh, well, come on now, lighten up. Why wouldn't you help a good friend in need like me, huh? Yeah. It's good for you to get out of the house every once in a while. Well, shut up and eat! That's all you're doing anyway! Yes, I was saying, it's 300 yen for a nap. Do you want to try it or not? She sure complains a lot, but she helps. She's such a nice girl, though. I might as well give it a go, since it's a big festival highlight and all. Oh, it's a highlight? Yeah, I should probably mention I'm a wizard at it. What? Is that so? That's right. Little old Tsukasa can scoop up a hundred fishies with one of those dinky nets. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, no? Well, in that case, darling, why don't you show off your impressive skills? Uh, wait, me? Uh, okay, I guess. I'll give it a try. Yeah, go fish, good luck. Go get them tiny fishies. You can do it, NASA. That'll be 300 yen, dummy. You keep trying until the net breaks. Okay, here I go. worthy of divine intervention? You never know. Gods can be pretty generous. But first, let's request that our marriage stays happy. Oh, good idea. To always have enough food, a roof over our heads, world peace, some of those are big wishes. Marriage, and most of all, keep NASA healthy. And please keep his net from falling apart henceforth evermore. So I was wondering something yesterday. Hmm? Other than you, my wife, how many people in the world do I know who actually worry about me? I could only think of a few. Hmm. In theory, let's say you start eating ramen three times a day, and then you post snarky reviews about it online. Uh, what? That's obviously bad for your health, and a slap to the face of common sense. Uh, true enough. Casual acquaintances might think it's pretty funny and talk about it. Random people on the internet will start praising you, and maybe you'll even become a social media star. Your friends and family might worry that it could cause some problems, but they're not around you all the time, and you might get into arguments with them. But the thing is, you can be damn sure I'd stop you. Because what I care more about than anything is you. <sighs> we might end up having a big fight about it. It could make things really awkward, and we might not even talk to each other for a while. But I'm still gonna stop you, because the reality of it is, no one who'd find that funny truly cares about your well-being. But it's completely essential to me. You mean more to me than anything. Thank you, my darling wife. All I want for you is to live. Since we're all together. 
Let's take a group picture real quick. But it's so dark, will that even work? There's a setting for that, see? Hmm? It adjusts the light so they come out great. Th that is not a small number of pictures. <laughs> yeah. And some of them look a little off. I'd even say they were awful. I'd love it if you would delete the ones where I look like I got hit in the stomach. Not happening. Uh? I mean, cuz... They're all adorable. Uh, uh, well, if you see it that way... Oh, wow. Wow is right. Takasa! Nanda! What are you doing over there? Come this way, you can see the fireworks so much better! Yeah, we're on our way! Well, uh, come on, Tsukasa, let's go. Summer returns. Let's watch the fireworks together again. Wear yukatas, eat takoyaki, and catch tons of goldfish. No matter how many seasons pass, I'll hold your hand and gaze up into the night sky with you over and over again, like those flowers of light blooming in the sky. Now and always, because the two of us are bound for life. Till the end of time itself. We're home. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just... 
I want the first thing I put in it to be all your info, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, of course. Okay, let me get all your contact info, too. Wow, there sure is a lot of room in here to store information on people, isn't there? I guess so. Aside from the phone and address, there's also social media and... allows you to list a single person's name under it. on me coming in. Oh. We used to go out to see movies together a lot as well. This co-worker was a guy? He knew a ton about manga and anime too, and he ended up teaching me a lot. He would talk about that stuff all day while we were working. I was actually the only one he would come and talk to about all that. Since I was kind of depressed at the time, I really appreciated him keeping me company. Are you sure it wasn't just because you were the only person who would actually listen to him? No way! That can't be true! At least I don't think. Anyway, I'll probably be staying the night, but I'll let you know right away once I have an idea of when I can leave. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Alright, good luck helping out at the bathhouse. I'm gonna go head out now. Have a safe trip then. What? You mean NASA won't be coming back today at all? Right. He did say he'd try to get home as soon as possible, but even then it might not be until morning. Huh? Do you miss him? <laughs> no! He's only going to be gone for a day, and how could I possibly be lonely already? Is that so? Well, you've got a phone now. So if you do start to get a little lonely, you could always try sending him a sticker. Sticker? But being married means being connected by our hearts. It'd take a lot more than a little separation to make me that desperate. <sighs> For some reason, I am super lonely. No, wait, that can't be it. It's one thing that he's going to be gone all day, but it hasn't even been an entire hour yet. <sighs> Did I really think about sending him a sticker like that? 
It wouldn't be anything other than one more annoying problem to worry about. Knowing NASA, he's surely working his butt off right now. If I were to send him a gloomy sticker like this, it'd just end up being a big distraction for him. Wouldn't it? But something like this should be fine, right? No, I shouldn't pester him at all. It'll just get in the way. I haven't seen NASA. Is he gone? He is, although I can't help but ask. What exactly are you doing here in the middle of a work day? Being separated as newlyweds must be lonely, huh? Did you even hear what I just asked? But I bet NASA is lonely too, so you'll probably end up getting a bunch of stickers from him. <sighs> no. Not even a single one. <laughs> oh, wait, seriously? Well, he probably just got busy with work, or he's in an underground forced labor camp with no signal. It has to be something like that. Not that I'd know the details, but it sure sounds like it'd be wrong. Yeah. He, he probably is just really absorbed in his work right now. Well then, I have the new Ari to play, so I'll see you later. Bye. Good luck with... <gasps> She's right that something must be going on. He hasn't contacted me once. <gasps> Could it be that he simply doesn't really miss me all that much? No, hang on. This is NASA we're talking about. There's no way that could be the case. He's probably just really busy, or isn't allowed to use his phone during work. I hear that's pretty typical in a lot of workplaces now. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello, welcome. How can I help you? Oh, I hate to trouble you. But do you folks happen to have a couple of bad towels we can use? Yes, of course. If you could just bring me the ticket... He already I told me that he'd let me know when he's almost done. Oh, so in the meantime, I need to focus on my own work. Things are so convenient these days, just clicking a few random buttons to see pictures and video. It's already seven o'clock and still not even a single text or call from my darling. I'm starting to wonder if he really did forget about me. Oh shoot, this is bad! I'm actually starting to make myself sad now! How stupid can I be? Spiraling into a depression all on my own! But... I just... night alone. Well, it's inevitable that there be a few of those over a long married life. Anyway, I should be proud of my husband for focusing so hard on his work. Instead of complaining about how lonely I am, I should just go to bed. <laughs> Hold on, I didn't do that because I'm feeling lonely, honestly! This is... Just in case he comes back home tonight. I'm just being proactive here, really. He could also end up finishing work early in the morning for all I know. And if the futon isn't already laid out for him, he'll have to go get it out himself when he's completely exhausted from work. That wouldn't be right at all. I just feel so terrible for him! So this isn't a problem at all. He'll be able to rest easy. And with that, good night. Everything has been so lively lately. So it seems extra quiet. I finally managed to finish, but I didn't expect it to take me till four in the morning. Then again, that crazy place has always been like that. Tsukasa's probably been asleep for a while now. 
I feel like I'm gonna collapse. I bet the second my head hits the pillow, I'll be out cold. Better make sure I don't wake her up. Careful. Welcome home. Hello. You're still awake, Sukasa? For some reason, I just couldn't sleep. Oh no, that's awful. I'm sorry. It's okay. I bet you worked really hard. What now? Would you like some tea? I'm seriously tired. I think I'll go straight to bed. Really? You put my futon out already. Thank you. Huh? Uh, yeah. Sukasa's taken the initiative for a kiss. What's going on? Maybe I'm just imagining things, but she seems a little more aggressive than usual tonight. Hey, darling. Arthur? Is it okay if I come and visit your futon tonight? Or... <laughs> uh, sure. Of course. Uh, okay. Excuse me, then. Seriously, what is going on? I mean, my wife is normally so calm and cool, but for some reason she seems to be wanting a lot of attention today. Wait, could it be that she missed me that much while I was away? <sighs> no way, but it was only a day. And yet she... could she really have a hidden side this cute? A good night kiss. <laughs> you still haven't given me one back, Nasa. <gasps> You want me to give you a kiss? Uh huh. It's because the two of us were apart for the entire day today. So I really want a little more attention. Boy, that packed a powerful punch! Uh, me too. Huh? When we were apart, I just couldn't stop thinking about you. How much? This much. It's four o'clock in the morning. The Arisugawas are bound to be sound asleep. The timing is just right. This could be my chance! The two of us are married, after all. It's perfectly natural. Darling, <sighs> could you hold me really tight? Yeah, sure! Sukasa, honey, you really are the cutest wife ever. night I got into a really weird mood. And I said a bunch of extremely embarrassing stuff. It's okay, because we're married. So when we're alone together, there's really no shame in saying that kind of stuff at all. Hold me really tight. <laughs> I, I don't care how lonely I was. What the hell was I thinking saying all of that last night? This is seriously bad. I have no idea how I'm supposed to face him when he wakes up. And I don't even want to think about what Kaname and the others might say if they overheard us. Did you have fun last night or what? What, what are you talking about, huh? Huh? That's just how I say hello. Don't you make your morning reading go over? No need to freak. Even if I was talking about that, NASA's not home yet, right? Mo said it's your business, but he came back early this morning. Huh? Wait, what are you telling me you reacted that way because you guys really did have that kind of fun last night? Uh, no, we obviously didn't. The thought of Aya happening to overhear you during her late night gaming sessions make it even hotter for you. Seriously, what is wrong with you? There was nothing strange going on and that's final. Besides, the two of us are married. So there are certain things other people might end up being jealous of that are important for proper communication. Yeah, I don't really need any kind of societal justification. Huh? I'm a simple girl who just wants to sneak herself a little peek at some of that freaky-deaky action, okay? What is wrong with you? 
Mikasa? <laughs> oh, hi, darling. You were here. Hey. Um, good morning. Y yeah. Morning. <laughs> you really did have fun last night. N no, what? you got it all what are you wrong. Talking about? Seriously, Mr. I'm Kassel, telling the truth, tell okay? <laughs> Well, I... I, uh... 